All right, now it's time to get into WWF Raw for August 9th, 1999. Of course, the new millennium, millennium. is here. In August, <laughs> August 9, 99. Millennium. millennium is here, August 1999. <laughs> hey, by the way, sweet show in Chicago. Allstate Arena, been there multiple times. Love that arena, best place. Shout out. Uh, but before we get into the show, let's talk about some Observer stuff from around that time from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, August 2nd, 1999. In WWF news, the lawsuit filed by Rena Miro against Titan Sports was officially settled out of court oh. on 722 with both sides agreeing as one of the terms to not say anything further public about the subject as well as discuss the terms of the settlement, which allowed both sides to save face in the aftermath. Well... The WWF announced the settlement on its website and said they could no, uh, say nothing further about the subject. However, before the settlement was finalized, Vince McMahon did go on Entertainment Tonight and insinuate that Miro would get no money from this. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> a statement from Miro responded at the end of uh, the piece indicated McMahon wasn't telling the truth, although she didn't get uh, into specifics about what wasn't true. They also had Paul White and Lisa Moretti on the show to knock Sable as a prima donna. Now, wait a second. Bro. <laughs> hey, well, I'll tell you where <laughs> we don't have those. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. She goes to XBF yeah. and it all works out. So, uh, what is known about the settlement is that the terms of Miro's release from their WWF, the Miro's, both of them, uh, from their WWF contracts, are the same as the original offer from WWF that Mark has a full release and can work with WCW immediately, while Rena can't work in wrestling until her contract expires in August two thousand and one. Yeah, so when is, XWF it has to be is it's like is October, it November or October, one? November, or something. I think. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so she doesn't do, and WCW is gone. Contract, by the time contract comes up, and then up. she goes yeah. straight over to XWF. <laughs> yeah, dude, no more. She owns the XWF. Actually, she's the owner. She's the CEO. <laughs> CEO. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, in ECW news, the woman without a name that Danny Doring asked to marry him on the ECW pay per view wrestles for Music City and in the Carolinas as Angelica. She was trained by the Hardy Boys and apparently is a good wrestler. Apparently, her deal is she makes a hundred dollars a shot. Uh, but has to provide for her own trans to get to the shows and pay the typical road expenses. Well, Angelica is, of course, Lita. Yes, of course. Wow. I didn't know she was trained by the Hardys. I, I actually didn't know that either. Yeah, that's which I, I thought she it, worked on in Mexico. Yeah, I thought she went to Mexico so too. too. Maybe she was trained. She probably did training both, you know, the Hardys and Mexico. Yeah, sure. Maybe they just put her on shows in Mexico. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just get trained by multiple people and you just take whatever one's better. You whatever gets you the, the best job. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Adam Cole credits Delirious for his trainer. <laughs> Not the Deej. I don't know, man. Deej had a lot of input there. <laughs> yeah, bumping on concrete, brother. I love that shit. Yeah, I mean, that's good. In WCW news, apparently last week, Bischoff was shocked on Tuesday when the ratings came in. He was shocked? Not so he was shocked, uh -oh. yes. Uh, not so much at the overall number, but seeing just how badly Hogan versus Sid got screamed. That's the verbiage that Meltzer used. Screamed by Undertaker versus Triple H. On a radio show this past week, the host brought up that the Raw main event beat Nitro's main event by four rating points. Hogan's response that it was Malenko, Benoit, Saturn, and Douglas that brought the rating down <laughs> and he had to make up lost ground. <laughs> he had to make up lost ground. That's the best. <laughs> oh. For the record, the Rednecks, West Texas Rednecks versus Benoit and Saturn with run-ins by Malenko and Douglas drew a 3.3 quarter. The final quarter was the ring intros and beginning of Hogan versus Sid, which did a 2.9. And the overall one was a continuation of the match, which did a 3.5. Some of that, which went unopposed. WWF did a 6.4 rating against that. <laughs> against, it did a 6.4 against the Benoit mm. stuff, and then a 7.7 .7 against Hogan and Sid. <laughs> that's a, you know, that's a tough one. It really could wow. go either way. Well, them fucking radicals, <laughs> Well, it wasn't me, dude. I'll tell you that. It was definitely Shane Douglas. I'll tell you that, brother. <laughs> and if anyone was to sign him, I just wouldn't do it, brother. <laughs> That's crazy. He, he fucking. Why is Hogan on a radio show bearing the fucking top guys That's on the That's what mid he card? does. That's what he does. Or maybe I don't, brother. <laughs> or maybe he really, really does, dude. <laughs> maybe there's, ratings were up, brother. Maybe, maybe there's proof right here, dude. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> Chris Jericho's final WCW match was uh, 721 in Peoria, Illinois, in a tag match teaming with Eddie Guerrero against Kidman and Mysterio Jr., forgetting, of course, that Mysterio and Guerrero on television are now a tag team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nobody should complain because this was said to be a four-star match going 25 minutes before the match started. Jericho said if he got pinned, he'd leave WCW. <laughs> so, obviously, he gets pinned here. <laughs> That's awesome. This is Hogan's fault or not. Well, maybe it's not, brother. <laughs> really, not I would have kept Chris Jericho for the <laughs> XWF, dude. 
Hogan had exit in '99. Uh, Hogan like goes on the radio show and goes, "Yeah, I would fire that piece of shit, dude." <laughs> and then uh, he shows up on Raw and his segment with Rock is like awesome and goes over super well. I have no idea what they would fire him, dude. <laughs> Why do we let that guy go, brother? You gotta bring him back, brother, because the well, ratings. I could have made a lot of money with him, brother. <laughs> yeah. That's what I kept saying every time he was here. We could make a lot of money, dude. We could have made millions, brother. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you just put me with Chris Jericho, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering if people in WCW realize how just how lame it is sounds when Goldberg is referred to as the phenom after everyone has heard the exact term used for Undertaker for so many years. Nobody has ever May called the Undertaker that. Maybe they can call <laughs> Ernest Miller the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> I'm all right. That. They should do Yeah, this. that'd be all right. Uh, August 9th, 99 Observer. The WWF is also in the process of making three more roster additions. ECW's tag team of the Dudley Boys and Stevie Richards. Uh, while none had signed contracts as of press time, the Dudleys reached a verbal agreement during the week with Jim Ross oh my, and started an angle that would lead to them finishing up with ECW. Richards, who has been working independently for the past several months, has been, this is crazy, has been talked with and considered for a spot in WWF, including considered as a part of DX. What the Stevie hell? Richards. No way. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll yeah, show I mean, you, you'll see. He's going to be Xbox. <laughs> yeah, I think that would work. I love Stevie. I mean, Stevie as a lackey in any fucking group is tremendous yeah i think that would have worked yeah that would have been fun as hell but it's just it's just crazy to like he comes in and he yeah it's funny he comes in and he does the gimmick of being in every group yeah i guess you're he's, right he's yeah Dudleys, he's, he's always the there Bruce. do you think the, yeah, he, he's with the dx thing was from the bwo they're like oh he could be perfect in dx from all the bwo stuff he did yeah let me job him out brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's triple h <laughs> uh xpw debuted on 731 in reseda california before 741 fans holy fuck what 541 paid uh yeah. easy dub uh, the publicity going in a week uh, about the show concerned the debut of UFC fighter Tito Ortiz who didn't wrestle on the show and based on the reports we received wasn't a part of the show. Oh, okay. So they, they hyped up Tito and Tito, even Tito bailed. You guys want to do that? Like an XBW, what, like... Like just hype somebody up or Tito? whatever? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really matter so. we deliver or whatever. Yeah, you know? Stefan Struve. We should fucking get <laughs> Ten years from now, someone will be like, you remember that time they said they were going to get that person? At least someone will remember something, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Take that. Here's something uh, for you guys and not for me. It appears that the Kiss Demon wrestler may not be Dale Torborg... But that role may be given to Brian Adams. Oh my! Oh, that, wow. that would be awesome, I think. Or yeah, maybe not, so. dude. I don't really know. <laughs> Do you think Brian Adams would have gone further with I the think, Kiss Demon? Yeah, I think Brian Adams could have done whatever yeah. he wanted to. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, you think uh, so? I guess full of promise. Yeah, Undertaker thought so, and uh, <laughs> I think it would have worked. Brian Adams way better wrestler. He would have been. That would have been like a wow. Del Torborg is awesome, bro. What the hell? Yeah, but, I, uh, but not know, in Brian Adams' league, brother. Brian Adams sucks. Well, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, Brian Clark Thank would have so been much. cool for it. Brian Clark um, would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Brian Clark. But, you know, it, I'm glad it kind of worked out like that because Chronic is pretty dope, actually. I like Chronic. With the C or the K? It doesn't really matter. Any of the Chronics, oh, you know what I'm saying? Wow. They're crazy yeah, as hell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Any Brian Adams got on the juice. I, I mean, like. So it, why are they Chronic? Because they're high <laughs> on life. All the time. Yes, yeah. bro. They are so ready. <laughs> to get fired by Vince McMahon. Yeah, uh, ain't that wrong with that? Some of the best wrestlers of all time got fired by Vince McMahon. You're right. <laughs> You're right. But Brian Adams is not one of them. Uh, a few last things here. Observe from August 19th, or sorry, August 16th, 99. In WCW News, there's typical behind the scenes problems. <laughs> Ric Flair missed Nitro after returning That's not from a Japan. Is it really a problem anymore if it happens like every week? Yeah. <laughs> like, is it well, just like an occurrence? I guess uh, they wanted him to actually do something on this one, so that's why no. it's a problem because they he returned from Japan due to a back injury, but he was also asked to put over the franchise Shane Douglas clean. Yeah, it was time. You got to pay it, it back. You steal the <laughs> franchise. No now with those ratings. You, you, you steal it for the franchise. You steal the franchise gimmick for twenty years. <laughs> you think you'd come out here and not job? Nah, bro. Well, Flair told friends he's more than willing to lose to Benoit or Kidman, but that Douglas hasn't gotten over it, was drawing poor quarter hours, and didn't deserve it. 
Those in the company that normally complain about the old guys not putting over new guys were sympathetic on this account because Flair was the only superstar to work with and elevate the second tier guys, although it didn't elevate anyone, just moved himself into a second tier low guy level. <laughs> the feeling is Flair wasn't asked because of business, but because of the feeling that this would be the ultimate personal humiliation for him <laughs> since, for whatever reason, Bischoff personally has in, has never gotten over his hatred for him. He had also talked about doing the opposite of everyone else and that Flair wanted to take be taken off television but wanted to continue working house shows, which is exactly the opposite of the other big names yeah what do you think he just wanted to work he's going to wrestle he just wanted yeah he just wanted to have some you know get out there do the rick flair pop we didn't have to cut a promo or fucking work with shane douglas <laughs> <laughs> That's like, there's only like two names i've ever heard that wanted to work house shows and like Jeff Jarrett yeah, and Flair. Jeff Jarrett and Flair. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. I mean, I always hear that house shows are fun and all, but I never hear like anybody's like upset that they can't work a house show loop or something. Yeah, no like, way, no way. <laughs> Especially at that time too, where they were like crazy, like they were just driving everywhere and like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So no, uh, no, no Douglas clean win here uh, as of yet. I don't know if it actually does happen or not. Um, sadly, yeah, I'm not too sure. Sadly, uh, to av- oh also, uh, so this was <laughs> this was interesting here. Uh, Meltzer writes, to avoid any confusion, Shannon Moore and Shane Helms, who have signed developmental deals to WCW, and Joey Matthews and Christian York are the same two people. What? (laughs) That is is not right. (laughs) Yeah. Say that again? He said that Shannon Moore and Shane Helms and Joey Matthews and Christian York are all the same people. Meltzer said this. Meltzer said this. He follows up, thankfully, the week after and says, it. actually, that's not true. How does... <laughs> I could get I I understand the confusion, you know. All these dudes. It sounds like Hulk Hogan wrote that in there. <laughs> these are all the same dude, brother, and they're not doing business at all. And last news here, WWF is doubling and in some cases tripling the price for its lower level talent to indie promoters. It used to be you could get WWF prelim guys if there was no conflict for $500, but those guys' same rates have been raised from $1,000 to 1500 per appearance. Holy fuck, man. All right, first off, WWE guys working in indies is insane. You could do it that? That could like, actually happen? Yeah. Like you could get like I, Val Venus versus also, Jeff Jarrett on your yeah. loop? Yeah. No, oh, hold on. I, so. I don't know about Jeff Jarrett now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, but yeah, you were, you, were hitting, you were hitting the right names before. I don't know what happened. Yeah, like I, Al Snow, Draws, D'Lo, like all those guys are probably I know they sent like some of those them, guys yeah. just to get work to get better, but I didn't know they did like indie dates. That's awesome. Not for uh, Val Venus, though, I don't think. I don't no think fucking way. <laughs> they, I bet WWF actually had a lower cost for him. And they, <laughs> they, they actually pushed him the out. Indies. They started their own indies <laughs> that... <laughs> They started their own indies on on the same dates they had shows, (laughs) and Valvius had to go work out there. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no conflict. You can book Valvius. Yeah, there you go. Special price. I remember Kane. I remember seeing Kane on some random indie show one time. He just that wasn't the real Kane. That was some guy in a mask. He called himself Kane. Oh fuck! You got got, dude. Dude, I guess you could do that. Yeah, you Here's could just Kane. have Kane. No, yeah. they did that all the time. They did that all the time yeah, back the fake, in the day. Fake Kane, fake Doink, fake Vader. There was a full the show that had all WF guys, and there were none of them were WF guys. I knew it was guys. fake Vader because his cock was huge. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sorry, bro. <laughs> all right, well, there you go. That is The Observer, so let's get into the show. All right, now it's time Whoa. to get into no. Raw for August 9th, 1999. For real, for real. Wait, but first you got wow, 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 I'd be very Everyone confused. is freaking out about yeah. Y2K also. Like, there's pandemonium going on when this was happening in the millennium. And yeah, I guess yeah, you're right. Yeah, fucking chicken man told me about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. <laughs> well, throw in your eye, plays, and we start off hot here. Da, 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 it's my da, life da, in a box. Da, in Chicago, Illinois, of course. We have the Rock Town Hall starting off. The Rock comes out here. Uh, JR says, oh, the Rock was assaulted on heat by Big Show and The Undertaker. So he was rocking. Well, uh, The Rock's big match for the pay-per-view SummerSlam is Billy Gunn. Whew, I hear you. Crazy. And the build is even crazier throughout this show to really get you. It's insane, you, actually. It's, yeah, to, to get you fired up for Billy Gunn against the fucking Rock. Yeah. Uh, 
they show a shot here of Big Show, Undertaker, and Paul Bear at the curtain. And Big Show is about to go out, but Taker stops him and says, hold on, big man. <laughs> yeah, what the let's, fuck? Hold on, big man. <laughs> hey, hey slow down, slow down. Let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get him. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Uh, JR calls him the Twin Towers of Destruction. So that's fucking <laughs> crazy. I hear you. <laughs> JR says Stone Cold and Jesse Ventura are both here, I which I... I couldn't believe I it. I thought, yeah, I, 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 I thought, I thought I was getting trolled. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean they're here? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, the Rock really. says you did something you should have never done, and that's put your big sweaty palms on the people's champion. Let the Rock make something perfectly clear to you, and you have never. And the Rock means never. Impress the Rock. From the time your crappy music hits, well, it's the big slow. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this guy's Iconic. like roasted into oblivion, <laughs> and he can't do anything about it. <laughs> nah, Undertaker said, "Slow down, now. let me hear what he's got to say." I want to hear him. Roast. Yeah, he <laughs> wants to hear what he's about <laughs> to say. All he's got to say is, "Fuck this guy." Big Show's behind Stand the curtain, here. like he's <laughs> beat red, just pissed off, ready yeah. to kill the rock. No, 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 hold on a second. Let's hear where this goes. Stand here, so me and my dad can listen to you get roasted. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, By the way, just to, just to set the stage here, the rock. Gold chain, gold watch, gold bracelet, sunglasses, crazy shirt, rocking Brown out here in Chicago shirt. style. Big Show is backstage yeah. in his underwear getting roasted. <laughs> Rock says, and every single fan stops, pauses, and takes a look. And they all say this. I'm going to take a leak. This guy sucks. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Don't go out there. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't go yet. Dude, he's fucking, he buried him and then now he's pissing on his grave. This is ridiculous. <laughs> And you walk down the rock's ramp. You step over the top rope like that's supposed to impress somebody. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and then the big show, you do something that's the most impressive thing the rock has ever seen. And the rock does big show's taunt. The big uh, raise the hand up for the choke saying, <laughs> <laughs> oh, You can hear in the back, actually. They put a mic up to him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was very funny. That was good. <laughs> Don't go out there, though. Hold on. Slow down. Hold on. No, we got a little minute. bit more here. <laughs> well, they eventually do come out to the uh, their their music that eventually gets repurposed for Sting's WWE theme, uh, the Unholy Alliance song. Big Show, Taker, and Paul Bear all come out. Taker and Big Show are in their gear. Paul Bear is in his suit. This is Deadlock. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Big Show fucking tries to get in. Rock cuts him off immediately. Uh, Taker gloms him from behind. They both stomp the Rock out. Dude, so Big Show and Taker come out here, right? They're full gear, going to kick this guy's ass. Yeah. The Rock in the ring, waiting. You get they get in the ring. The Rock's in the ring. He grabs the mic. He goes, "I ain't running for these two jabronis." And then he, <laughs> he literally says that into Did the microphone. Oh my god! Drops the mic and starts hitting the fucking Big Show. <laughs> <laughs> Just not afraid of Big Show That's in the slice crazy, or the Undertaker. Bro. I'm gonna take a leap. This guy sucks. The two biggest killers in the company. Ah, this guy sucks. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. This is insane. <laughs> Oh. If you were up against the Rock in '99, you're done. And it, good luck. Oh my God! You have to. You have to be on your game because only the strong survive. Like he fucking kills you, and if you don't respond properly, you're you're done. You're done. Yeah, like you can beat him up after, but who cares? Yeah. He's just going to make fun of you more the next week. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> it's not going to change anything. Crowd pops big here. I'm like, oh shit, who's coming out here? Fucking all oh, Stone Cold coming out here. Fucking Xbox. <laughs> Huge <laughs> pop. Xbox yeah, is over, big man. Fucking pop for Xbox. He makes a save. Taker and Big Show get the best of him. Fuck him up, too. And another pop. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Road Dog. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Road Dog's got shoes on style. this time, by the way. He's not shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knew the segment was coming. He comes out. He Big Show, or sorry, Road Dog gets in, and to make the save, he goes for his punch combo on the Big Show. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but Undertaker grabs him by the head and head. That's the most incredible thing ever. You got to get your gimmick in. <laughs> And then Kane, Kane running is the fun. Dude, Kane is a house of fire. Here's Kane. <laughs> Kane, Kane runs like he has like his ass is on fire all the time. He is fucking running crazy style. He gets in clothesline show over the top, then Taker. Crowd is on fire. This is the first segment of the night. They are losing it. Undertaker's on the ramp going. And just licking all of his lips, dude, man. <laughs> fucking weird bastard. I don't know. Hold on a minute. I got <laughs> yeah. Something right with you. I don't know. Give me some chapstick, Paul. It's not working for me. Uh, and then DX music hits. So this is DX. It's X Pac, Road Dog, Kane, and The Rock. And The Rock, yes. <laughs> the new DX. <laughs> the new DX, DX two thousand. Yeah. <laughs> and Stevie Richards. <laughs> 
<laughs> coming well, soon. They run down the show here uh, about what's to come tonight. And of course, they also yes. say that Jesse the Body Ventura's limo is now here. Oh, oh of course. Shit. Did you like? Uh, did you not enjoy the rundown of Edge's little brother taking on Gangrel? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> here he is. Bill Clinton talked to Jesse Ventura one time. And, and it is. that was this week. And now he's here <laughs> in the WWF. Yes, of course. Uh, he is going to be the special enforcer for the WWF title match, I guess, uh, at SummerSlam. Yes. Well, guess what? Jesse the Body Ventura, that is not his limousine. That's actually Shawn Michaels' limousine. What, what? the What the hell? Is, what the hell? Ah! Kid doing here? What's he here? What's he got going on? I what's cannot the, believe the, the commissioner the was know. not here at call time. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I don't think like, they have right. a hard call time in the WWF at this time. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Because Stone, no, Cold... Stone Cold show up at 9 30. <laughs> <laughs> there were times where, like, it was semi main event and Stone Cold was just arriving to the building or so. Arriving with his bag yeah. over his shoulder and knee braces. Hey, what's going on, guys? Just getting here. Speaking of Stone Cold, we get a Stone Cold. I'm like, oh, is Stone Cold a hype video? We need to, like, put over Austin. I, yeah, more. I thought it was a hype video, too. I said, damn, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. No nonsense. No bullshit. <laughs> Stonecold.com. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, that's. Was that go to porn? What does that go to? No, no, no. They said, please go to stonecold.com. Do not go to <laughs> www.hardies.com. There is nothing on that site. Is that still Stonecold.com takes him to his roster page is where it takes him. Let's just do an update Stone- on www.hardies.com. Stonecold.com takes him to www.com slash superstar slash stonecold Steve Austin. Oh, okay. They got that okay, Angela well, White remix. I think WWF Hardies is gone. Ah, I see. Did you do it with a Z I or can- a Where am I going to jerk S. off now? <laughs> you do it with a Z or an S? Z, both of them don't work. Oh man, the S would be crazy. Yeah, the Sorry. S take you to Team Skeet. <laughs> Dog <laughs> fart. <laughs> you go go somewhere. Well, we go backstage here. Uh, X Pac and Kane are with Michael Cole. Um, X Pac, you know, he had a concussion, but yeah. we're cool now. Michael Cole says, "Oh, it seems you're over your concussion." <laughs> yeah, based on what? <laughs> Based on how many bitches he brought to this arena tonight. Now I let's guess. keep going for the WF tag titles. <laughs> Dude, X Pac proves that he is still concussed here. X Pac says, You got it right. It's time to take care of unf- unfinished business. We just took care of some <laughs> and we got some more. What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, that, this is why this is one of my favorite wrestlers all the time right here. This man said, God damn, and they didn't bleep it. I thought that was yeah, awesome. You're right. Yeah, we well he's you know he's got unfinished business and they just took care of some, but they also got well there's some always more. business that needs to be finished. Well tonight acolytes the tag titles you got you don't got a damn thing to say about it we're doing it got the goddamn but acolytes they're gonna just, die. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Kane Xbox said uh huh. Xbox just books a tag title match here and that's cool even though they just ran down the card at the top. Well the commissioner's not here till fucking past call time. <laughs> we obviously don't care. So Xbox we do good not to go care. Here. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, go on. <laughs> well, we move into Christian versus Gangrel singles match. Edge's little brother Christian. Christian got the Gangrel. crazy theme song here. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what I don't recognize this song at all. I like it. If you go to it's XY, it makes me feel good. Uh, Gangrel's what? Gangrel's makes entrance you smile. is out of control. I love this fucking thing. Yeah, Very Gangrel, cool. uh, man, he is a hell of a worker too. He Very underrated so worker fuck, from this era. Super. I feel like he probably still can have this caliber of TV match. I think so too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is fun as hell. Um, Gangrel hits an elbow drop, and all I can see is the ref's legs. For some reason, they didn't switch dude, cameras dude. here. Just. <laughs> I wrote referee standing in the way 2K style as Gangrel. <laughs> it was 2K style. Holy. Just staring at the ref's fucking Dude, it ass. was the whole sequence, too. Like, they could have changed a million times. They had said, plenty nah. of time. Well, Kevin um, Dunn was eating a carrot. They could have just gone straight to the hard game. What are they doing over there? The brood is broken up with by this point, by the way. This is post brood. Sure, but that's Edge's brother. This is Edge's little brother, Christian. Well, they mentioned that Gangrel is a young competitor here in the WWF. Okay. And for some reason, that is not computing in my head. Gangrel has always been 40. No matter what, he's always 40. All these guys are that to me. Well, like, like Christian the looks... probably like 25 here. Yeah, Christian looks young. Edge looks young. Gangrel sure. is a fucking vampire. He looks <laughs> like he's 40 years old. <laughs> well, that's his thing. He never ages. He's a vampire. That's what I'm saying. He said, Gangrel is a, is a young competitor of the day. I said, what the <laughs> fuck do you mean? Who are you talking about? Yeah, you I could not believe that Gangrel was young yeah. here. But I guess Gangrel at some point in his life was young. <laughs> he had to have been. Which is nuts. And he's still wrestling right now to this day. He looks the same. Did you know, <laughs> did you know Gangrel's only four years older than uh, Edge? He's and, only four years old here? Oh, no, four years older than Edge. Vampire years. <laughs> 
<laughs> four years older than Edge is what I'm saying. Is that right? Yeah. So like right now, oh, Edge is 49 fuck. and uh, Gangrel's 53. Isn't that crazy? So Gangrel was what 30 here? This was 20... 25 years ago. No, that's not right. 25. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> 20, something like that yeah 20 something yeah he had to be like 30 <laughs> yeah he was 30 like gang uh, was about 30 years old at that time yeah wow yeah, okay that's cool um christian has gang the unprettier uh hardy boys come down on the apron to distract there's so much happening here there's uh, a lot yeah that like i almost get lost in who's helping who and what's happening here <laughs> Because it's it's not established yet that who the Hardys are helping or why they're doing any of this, so it's like all over the place. So yeah, Christian goes for the unprettier. Hardys come out, make the save. Christian takes the Hardys out, and then Gangrel spits the red viscous liquid <laughs> into Christian's face as he goes for a flying nothing. Hits him with the impaler, uh, and then wins. What a cool fucking move, man! What a the cool... impaler is awesome, and, and, man. and nobody does cool like name. Gang... nobody does like Gangrel, man. Like this guy, no he hit that shit crazy. Edge man. did not even get close. No, yeah, no way. Um, speaking of Edge, he's here now, and uh, yeah, it's true. I don't know who he's attacking. He's attacking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Hardys are. The Hardys are jumping Christian, then Edge comes out to save his little brudda. Uh, Jeff takes a Rikishi bump off a clothesline from Edge, and then Edge spears Matt. Then Edge goes to hit Jeff with a downward spiral. Gangrel gloms Edge and hits him with the Impaler. Then Michael P.S. Hayes comes out dressed out like dressed up like the Hardys. Yes, That's insane, by the way. <laughs> Deadlock Orange, Michael Hayes, yeah. Hardy Boys style. That's fucking awesome. Hardy Boys the got Hardy their Boys. Fit. They got their fit from Michael Hayes. I don't know if you knew that. That's where they got their style. I think that, that is true, right? Is that right? Yeah, I think that's so. That's where they got their style. Michael Hayes was dressing like that, and they just got his wow. style. He made, he made them dress like him. That was the gimmick, I think. That's hilarious, <laughs> that's actually. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is nuts. So Michael Hayes, the manager of the Hardys at this time, come out to try to stop the Hardys. There is so if you like look at the scope of the outfits in the ring right now, they're all it's insane. insane. This is fucked all, up. Yeah. The gang ground Christian are in, still in matching pirate shirts. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the Seinfeld shirts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the Hardys jump Michael Hayes and the crowd pops for it. Uh, they both hit, hit Twist of Fates on Michael Hayes. Fuck <laughs> like you, they, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah like, like Jeff does it, and then Matt also does it for some reason. Jeff swantons them, then them and Gangrel stomp out Michael Hayes. Listen to that. The Hardy Boys <laughs> and Gangrel are now literally stomping Michael Hayes out, and he's dressed up like a Hardy Boy. <laughs> Michael Hayes is like 40-something, 50 years old here. Yes, they're stomping out Michael Hayes dressed up like a Hardy after they just beat up Christian dressed up like Gangrel. <laughs> also, a fun note here: the brute theme song at the beginning says "Oh, <laughs> you're right." I couldn't unhear it. Like they're stopping this fucking dude out, and all of a sudden you're just "Oh, oh." <laughs> you're right, I never thought. Oh, it's oh. like super. Yeah, it's like trying to hide it from your parents. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jim Johnson was having a good night that night. It's just crazy, man. Is uh, that him on the track? Oh. Uh, Jim Johnston. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows, really? Could be yeah. Michael Hayes. I've learned a lot about Michael Hayes usually. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the um, new brood, right? Oh. The, did you already say that? The yes, new brood, correct. With, new brood with Gangrel, and then they, uh, then the, it doesn't last. Then dude. they win the tit, and then they get Terry. Correct. What's that? The Terry the Invitational tit. Tournament. The tit. Oh, course. okay, sure. They win the tit. Which they, so they abandon Gangrel there. Or he turns on them there? You can't abandon the vampire. That's right. No, that's right. They leave Gangrel for Terry. Because they win Terry. They win, the, they win Terry. They win Terry as their manager. And then they, <laughs> by winning that ladder match at No Mercy, remember that crazy ladder match? I was going to say, isn't isn't that ladder match where the No Mercy animation of falling yes, off the ladder with the bag the of money? Is from? You get the that bag match. of money yeah. and the tit. That's right. It's from that match. The bag of money yeah, and yeah, the yeah. Terry and the and the tit. That's crazy. And then yeah, and then that's when Tits. that's when the, then I guess they're not the brood. Tits. They're just the Hardys at that point, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. There you go. Right. Uh, Michael Cole with the Acolytes backstage. They say they're going to win their tag match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bruce says, yeah, we'll put the belts on the line. You and the world saw what we did to the Kane's punk ass last night. And now this little chihuahua thinks he's going to be the savior. And Bradshaw says, no one can take us on, including the Undertaker or the Big Baboon. <laughs> Big Baboon. <laughs> Everyone. It, was, it must have been a directive from Vince McMahon at the time. You bury this son of a bitch. <laughs> bury this big bastard. 
Fuck WCW. <laughs> <laughs> I think she get that last part of there, too. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Jesse Ventura's here with a guy no. that looks like Triple H, and they're heading to the <laughs> ring. But before we get into that, get Jeffy with it. Dude, don't be a jabroni. Eat your chef Boyardee ravioli. On the beach. They, that's crazy. In a boat. The boat makes sense. They, the boat ravioli makes sense. Boat and ravioli Does is it? the craziest thing ever. You cannot eat no, ravioli. No, that makes boat sense. Makes Dude, sense. if you guys fucking would fish for once in your damn lives. They were not on a fishing boat. You, that, you could you <laughs> throw a line off, brother, and you're good. They any, were, any boat's a fishing boat. Let me hear it one time, fellas. Oh, brother, they were going 60 yeah. miles per hour. Tony, you yes, got to be on sir. my side. Here. Listen. They were going 60 miles when it comes per to hour fishing, on that fucking thing. When it comes to fishing, you can have any boat can be a fishing boat for sure. That's, Thank you. That's just throw the line off. That's baby. a fact. They were going you fast because sure. they were fucking fishing for bluefin tuna out in the damn deep. You've never been out there day in damn life. <laughs> okay, then you go out there once you get Chef Boyardee in your body. The only way you would Chef Boyardee on a boat is if it was cold Chef Boyardee because you're not eating hot. Exactly. You can't heat the shit up. That's fucked you up. can't eat hot yeah. Chef Boyardee in a microwave on a yacht. That's just weird. Doesn't make sense. Hey, in the I summertime. bought a fishing rod for uh, my dad via your recommendation. Did he like? You forget this. Was he a he did like bait caster we did fish. guy? We fished together. Yes, yes, yes. It was cool, dude. Bait caster when you're a kid, dude. Tony, when your kid gets of age, get him a bait caster and see how quick they fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember. Just experiment I, with yeah, him. my dad said, "Here you go." I said, what the hell is this? And he's like, "He's a bait caster." He's like, "You really can't." Can't fuck this up. <laughs> like with a spinner, you can fuck it up because like the line can go out and it gets all sure. printed. But he's like with a big cast, you can't really fuck it up. I think like the second time I cast it, man, I fucked that thing up beyond belief. I think <laughs> I <laughs> with this. clearly remember fucking it up as well as a kid. Like, dude, it's because it gets fuck. It gets fucked up in the actual reel. Yes, yes. So like, dude, all you if get you have spinner, it, yeah, if you have a spinner reel, you're good because you can fucking just you know get it out. If it's in the bait caster, you have to take it apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah this no is, way. Maybe this is why they were eating Chef Boyardee on the fucking boat, because they fucking had the bait master. <laughs> <laughs> had the bait the masturbator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, masturbator bait master. line fucking out. out. There, and it was, just wasn't working. Yeah, the rock was just <laughs> were eating they fish, ravioli. They should throw some ravioli on the line and see what they can catch. Maybe a, he had an expensive ass shirt eating these fucking raviolis, too. Well, they were cold, so like the sauce is more congoogling. On the beach, they were cold, too? <laughs> uh, mankind was crazy. His was like 100... Yeah. 200, 300 degrees. I don't know. He yeah, man, f- exploded yeah. them. <laughs> You're right. That was and, and super hot. It didn't get anywhere. It like no, it was it, pretty it clean. Went in the bowls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, nice. Well, shout out to the Rock. Shout out to uh, Boy R D, if you will, Chef Boy R D. The Chef, the Chef. Um, yeah. And you know, just don't be a jabroni. Eat your Chef Boy R D ravioli. Really, is get Chefy with it. Just don't forget. Yeah, don't 100%. forget about <laughs> Chef Boy R D ravioli. His name was Ettore. Yeah, that's the chef. <laughs> Boy Boy R D. Like, it wasn't even spelled the same way. They fucking fucked this up. How they fucked this up? That's my wrestler it, name, James Boyardi. <laughs> the Boyardi. <laughs> that's Jim like a Boyardee. young, a young Matt Hardy is a Boyardi. Yeah, Boyardi. <laughs> Boyardi. <laughs> Matt and Boyardee. Jeff, the Boy, the Boyardis. <laughs> Boyardis. <laughs> Boyardee. That's a rip off Young Bucks gimmick. The Boyardis. <laughs> Boyardi. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's Dino and Jesus and Stefan's truth. So we already <laughs> so going yeah. fishing today. <laughs> That's actually how they came up with the overstuffed beef wrapping. Only they're on the boat and they said, What if we stuffed a lot of more extra meat in here? And they said, You're a chef. He said, You're a chef. They said this on a boat with a rock. Yeah, this is like the T <laughs> this is like the TNA boat trip. <laughs> on <but> a boat. <laughs> but for chef oh Boyardi. yeah, the bruise cruise. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, no regrets. Chef. They're she gonna <laughs> Yes, dude. That's so I'm, dude, I, that's what I want in my life. I want me and the boys to have a summer where we call it the summer dude, of no regrets. Let's we, do a we deadlock just, cruise. We just hang out with each other. It's not even, not even on a boat, it's just a, it's a summer of no regrets, and we're just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, yeah. I mean, where is that your house watching <laughs> James just, James just wants us to come over. Yeah, yeah. 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 watching CZW order DoorDash. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a summer no regrets for me. That's, that's every month. You, you mean you mean not one single regret? No regret? Yeah, no, no regrets. regrets. None of them. <laughs> None Dude, of them. Me and the boys, no regrets. Hey, just yeah, just we can make that CZW. happen, bro. <laughs> James will come over, bro. Dude, I love I love that. I love that for us. <laughs> That's a good idea in theory. Like yeah. Billy Fox. <laughs> I think it is. I agree. 
So uh, now <laughs> it's time, of course, everybody, for the Jesse the Body Ventura oh, down hall. Also, by the way, just wanted to, we were talking fuck. about the Chef Party thing. They had the Feed the Need logo at the bottom. That was the Benoit text. Okay. I don't know why they have the Chris Benoit oh, logo really? text as the Feed the Need <laughs> what one. The fuck? I don't know why it just is. Benoit's know. not around yet, so they no, repurposed yeah, they 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 repur- as- Chef Party logo for Chris that's Benoit's a, Well, that's logo. one thing you don't remember from the Observer Notes, Tony, that uh, the original plan for Benoit <laughs> coming in was he was going to be Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <laughs> the, the boy RDs. <laughs> he refused to go on the he summer of no it. regrets. <laughs> and they said, there's just no way. You, you just don't get it. <laughs> well, Jesse Ventura is here. Dude, if you can believe it, there's a guy in the crowd with his shirt off and a sign that says that he wants X Pac in the brawl for all and he's shadow boxing. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. I just brought back the brawl for all so I can make that happen. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that guy with sign versus X Pac would be yeah, X Pac and Billy Graham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we could do that. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, so Jesse the Body Ventura is here and boy, Big suit. he has a lot to talk about. Large suit, like he was trying to be in the G1 and everyone laughed at him or something. This guy is off his <laughs> rocker. Dude. So Jerry Lawler is in the ring to interview him. And he says, uh, Jesse, you shocked the world. And I know, I don't know how he did. He just said, you shocked the world. <laughs> and I know you're going to shock SummerSlam. And I know there's some things you want to get off your chest. So Jesse Ventura says, I've been out of wrestling for a while. And most people know I've been doing a lot of other stuff. But it's time to review for a moment who Jesse the Body Ventura is. No, First no. of all. I'm a former wrestling champion. <laughs> I know my way in and out of the ring. Second of all, I was the first referee ever at SummerSlam because it was a special deal re- required again. I said, what do you mean? You heard him. <laughs> and third and most importantly, I'm the only professional wrestler who can legitimately say he was a Navy SEAL. No! I said, no! no! Dude, <laughs> dude, I knew. Well, think of that, Lawler. I knew right then and there <laughs> that this segment was going to be insane. <laughs> Off the rails immediately. <laughs> well, all of you people are going to see a lot of frauds out there. A lot of Navy SEAL wannabes. When it was time to serve their country, they ran off like gutless cowards and probably played in a hippie rock band. <laughs> he's, talking, he's talking about Chuck Norris, of course. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who the fuck are you talking about, man? What the fuck? Well, you know. Well, people like to pretend they're Navy SEALs on television, SEALs, or made for TV movies with Bozo the Clown haircuts. Who is he fucking talking about? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> nah, nah, I mean, this, this was like, it's just so out of pocket. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I I swear to God, I had to rewind this five yeah, times. No, no, I hear you. This is out. like a hell of a name for a human. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I'm starting to think this wasn't a human. I know Rogue Warrior Demo Dick Marcinko. <laughs> <laughs> He's a friend of mine. Okay. Hey, hey, do not. Hey, do not forget <laughs> that Rogue Warrior Demo Dick Marcinko, <laughs> the commander. I want you to make sure you get that part. The commander. The commander. Sorry. He ain't got a damn Bones of the Cloud haircut fucking on TV. He's, he's a, a friend of mine. He's the commander. <laughs> And I also, do you remember Dick Tater? <laughs> Dude, oh. I know a lot of dicks. Dude, who else was he trained by? Who else is Jesse the, the Con Jesse, Jesse, <laughs> Jesse the Body Ventura was trained by the Master Chief. He was trained by the Master Chief. I was trained by Master Chief Terry Mothermore. How did he know his name? He knew the Master Chief's name? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, three. Three. You. That? <laughs> <laughs> I secured for the first time in history class 226 <laughs> Navy SEALs from Hell Week. <laughs> and I also climbed the rope ladder a week ago aboard USS Pearl Harbor. <laughs> and I was given eight bowels. <laughs> He's a cure class too. Navy seals in hell. I went to hell. And I he climbed a rope two, two, ladder. Six. I climbed. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, that's what he said. He does say he said he climbed, I also a, rope climbed a rope ladder a week ago. <laughs> I climbed a rope ladder and did Pearl Harbor. Who is this guy? Well, I'm not a fake. He is on television 
admitting to war crimes. No, no, no. At USS Pearl Harbor, not. Oh. oh. Well, I was given eight bowels. Well, do you know Rogue Warrior Demo Dick Marcinko, the commander? And I was given a salute from the captain and the executive officer. Well, what I'm trying to get and to here is SummerSlam. And I Slam. climbed a rope ladder. <laughs> Just reminding everybody, this is to promote a uh, a special guest referee match at the pay per view. Well, that's what he said. Right after that, he says, "And that, well, what I'm getting down to here is SummerSlam takes place August 22nd. <laughs> takes place at the Target Center. Target's locked and ready. And I will descend from the rope ladder. <laughs> Climb the rope ladder." And As he secured eight, Class 2 me, Navy SEAL 6-6 six, six in hell? Me, me and my eight bowels. <laughs> you trained my master chief. <laughs> well, there's no bozos there. Yeah, there's no TV bozo clowns. I'll tell you that. A lot of wannabes there. Ain't that right, Lawler? We got a lot of bunch of Class 3 Navy SEALs over there. <laughs> They ran like gutless cowards and probably played in a hippie rock band. He's a friend of mine, Dick. <laughs> Dick. Dick Marcinko. Please get Dick it right. Mar the commander. The commander. <laughs> you will go to hell <laughs> with the Navy SEALs. <laughs> Holy well, shit, don't worry about dude. That. Well, we all know who is in power in Minnesota. And we all know why did the WBF come to Jesse Ventura for a match of this magnitude. Because they know I'm the only person who could deliver uh, law and order where a champion will be decided in the oh center of the ring. Fuck. While they do this, a cut to the crowd. There's a guy in the crowd holding a sign that says Steve Sniffs Men's Undies. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he does. He I was one Steve. of the Navy SEALs. Steve's kind of crazy <laughs> like I, that. I fought with him. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Steve Sniffs was his name. <laughs> <laughs> He was the commander and officer. <laughs> and he, he was, was my friend. <laughs> he was in the Star War with me. <laughs> we climbed a rope ladder onto the Death Star. <laughs> the only Navy SEAL at the Star War. <laughs> Class 333 three, Death Star in hell. <laughs> Me, Dictator, Dick uh -huh. Marcinko, <laughs> Dick Johnson, Dick Nixon, and Steve Sniffs all went on a rope ladder. <laughs> dude, Jesse the Body Ventura, dude. Holy. So Triple H comes out, Jesse Ventura, it's my time, and Jesse Ventura won't stop talking. Dude, he will not, I wrote that down, he won't shut up. <laughs> well, I guess, will they not have entrance music when he was around? Oh, We're going to find out who the best wrestler <laughs> is. Do they have entrance music when he was around? <laughs> the fucking well, no, Triple we didn't have entrance music. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> not really I worried about our music, are we, son? <laughs> worried about my goddamn friends in the army, the navy. They're in hell now. <laughs> I'm going there after. We're gonna find out who the best wrestler is, and by looking at the screen, apparently they're coming now. He didn't have to explain I'm what the is. After. After. <laughs> apparently they're coming out right now. I guess that's what that music means. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up more of them from hell. Oh my god. I'm going so there Triple right H after. Triple H and China come out. Jesse says, I got a simple message, Triple H. August 22nd, you'll get your title shot. <sighs> but I will tell you right now, you better work on your wrestling moves. That's right. I, that, <laughs> that's right. Wrestling. Wrestling moves. Also, tri Triple H is dressed like in his tough enough gear here, which I just want to know. He's yes, fucking you're right. Crazy. He is in the tough enough gear. But he's got the hat gear. too. He didn't oh, wear the hat in man, tough enough. He does. This is fucked up, man. Well, the best wrestler is going to win that night. It's my <laughs> way or the highway to hell where all of my Navy SEALs are currently residing. <laughs> And Triple H says, well, you know, <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> when Triple H starts with, you know, it's going, we're in for a long night. Oh, tell you what. man. He said, you must be under a rock or something. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> he I said, you must be stuck in the 70s or something. You're talking about former this and former that. I was, I used to be, and I'm thinking the air up there has got to be doing something to your brain. <laughs> And they, there's asshole chance, and just I think I they're talking to you. 
Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's, called, it's called a promo kid. Learn how to do it, all right? Triple H says, this is not Minnesota. This is my world. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Soda. <laughs> Soda. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> Well, Jess, so Triple H says, this is my world. Jesse says, King, you better explain to him this is my country, which is bigger than your ring. You better tell him to go look at the New York Times today, the LA Times today, and see whose picture stood with the President of the United States. <laughs> Jesse Ventura is so up his dude, own ass. This is still, this is the longest segment this is, ever. Dude, there's so <laughs> much more. God damn it, man. Uh, so they go back and for Triple H talks shit. He says, you've been face to face with the president, but now you're standing face to face with me and I will kick your Dude, ass. That was, a, that was a sweet line. I actually really liked that line. What the, uh, I don't care. No, oh, when you he said you were face to face with the president, face face with face with but me. now you're face to face with me and I'll kick your ass. Yeah. That was awesome. I don't care who you are. I will kick your ass. Well, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, John. <laughs> what the hell is the commissioner doing out here? Why is he at Monday Night Raw? <laughs> Why is he not on time? Why didn't he was he out here earlier? Why is he, why is he at this building? What is he doing here? Well, Shawn Michaels here, James, in his suit. Yeah, of course he. You know, you got to keep this segment moving as much as possible here. <laughs> Shawn's here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shawn, uh, he says that Jesse has uh, standards and practices that he must abide by, but I don't. Come SummerSlam, this how man is right that here right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Linda Ellerby is doing a horrible it's job fucking of fucking hell, man. Of warning people here. Sean says, come SummerSlam, this man right here will be the most powerful referee in the World Ref Wrestling Federation Let him know, history. Sean. Sean does not know where he is. Sean just came from the Navy Seal <laughs> Hell class, too. I'll, I'll be there soon. Dude, <laughs> Sean, like, looks at uh, Jesse the Body for, Jesse. like, his line. Like, what's my line? Yeah. Like, <laughs> What's the name of the company, Jesse? <laughs> and Jesse, like, shaking his head. Yeah, that's yeah, right. The you, World you Wrestling say, Federation. World Re yeah, the World Wrestling. <laughs> fucking, yeah. You can right. say wrestling. Wrestling. Best wrestler. Yeah. Wrestling. <laughs> you got it, Sean. Let's keep it moving. He tells uh, Triple H that he brought Triple H into this world. Uh, and he says, normally I'd kick your ass, but Jesse the Body's informed me that when you got as much stroke and power as we do, and Jesse takes the mic and says, this is politics. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> okay. He says, you got a match tonight. You, The Undertaker, and Stone Cold will compete in a triple threat match, and Triple H may very well be your time, but tonight it's going to be my way. Hit my music. And then that's the end of this long-ass segment. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Jesse Ventura, bro. Dude. You're a crazy Jesse, bastard. Like, it was Un like unbelievable every time I was he always like this or was it only after he became like governor guy you know I, he definitely I feel like he definitely fell into a character <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> the character of I'm an ass kicker Master class 2 Chief Navy just SEAL told me how to be myself <laughs> demo dig Marcinko is coming and <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> demo dig <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god, god Jesse, man. come on. Stop bringing this guy uh, back. Nice. Jesse. Dude, I wish Jesse Ventura had started a company. Yeah, that would have been fucked up. Or maybe up. I don't, brother. Yeah, really. I don't actually don't think that's a good idea, dude. Or maybe it is. <laughs> Who knows, brother? Maybe it's great. I should have ran for president, dude. So uh WWF SmackDown premieres on August 26th on Prime Time. We've watched that, right? What channel is that? Uh, Prime uh, Time. You've been <laughs> which is this on Prime you've Time. Been, yeah, I hear you. It's over it doesn't say a channel? It just says no, no time. chance. It just said we are on oh, prime weird. time. They also oh, said based? we are the most dangerous soap opera, which is like okay. crazy jarring hearing the WWF refer to themselves, refer to themselves mm -hmm. as yeah. a soap opera. Yeah, that is fucking weird. Especially in 99. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I guess, I don't know, whatever whatever Vince could do to make people think it wasn't a sport is what he was doing yeah, at this time. good guys yeah. and bad guys is passe. But I think they were, like, the stocks, like, were just about to open or like they just did already. Yeah, they were so just they were, about, yeah. They were super doubling down on this is fake as hell, brother. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. You can put ads on the show, I promise. <laughs> uh, we go to a pre-tape. D'Lo and Mark Henry are out running. <laughs> yeah, cool. I love that they try to play that Mark Henry's out of shape or something. He, he's got like a regular shirt on and he looks like a fucking monster. This dude is like otherworldly big. And like they, when he first came in, they put him over as being like an Olympic athlete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have him like now doing cardio and shit. <laughs> now he's just ah, oh, you like chocolate, don't you, fat boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark Henry, Asian wants chocolate. He's got to piss and shit at the same time. So oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And he, he runs, 
Go to the back of the woods. No one sees you, bro. So he runs <laughs> seriously to the back of the woods, deep into the woods. Uh, yeah. And this then a is- car pulls up. <laughs> As this happens, and fucking Jeff Jarrett's here, <laughs> and Jeff Jarrett attacks D'Lo, throws him into a tree, and then throws a barrel on him. Throws the hood of the car, throws a barrel on him, and then he gets in the getaway car, which Dude, is driven by Deborah. Deborah, Deborah is screaming her, she's screaming her ass off here, like, "What are you doing, Jeff?" Even though she stopped you the car, she's well, yeah, she screamed her, <laughs> screamed her puppies off here. Puppies, and she, even though she's the one You're that stopped right. the car, she, what are you? She Jeff? drove him to the assault. Doing? Yeah, she she is uh, the really it probably was her idea. Maybe Jeff was, was like, "Hey, just drive me over here. I got something I gotta take care of." And she's like, "All right, let's yeah, go." Yeah, I gotta go shit and piss in the woods. <laughs> <you drop over laughs> <here."> <laughs> well, this did not go where I thought it was gonna go. We get Jeff Jarrett versus Val Venus. God damn it! Not this fucking guy, man. Come on! I can't watch. There's this no fucking one match. on this fucking roster that <laughs> other than this guy. This is the mid card non title match. They always threw it out there. Jeff Jarrett. Val Jeff Venus. Jarrett won't stop wrestling J- Val Venus in this fucking. I can't time. get away from it. Get this fucking guy off TV. To send him to the Navy Seal hell. <laughs> <laughs> get out of no here. Way. Keep him out of there. He's we're a cutting the rope bozo. ladder, and we're fucking sending him down there. You're not coming back. He's a bozo. The master no. chief is out there. You are going to die. <laughs> Dictator wants nothing to do with him. Jared's out here with Deborah, of course. Um, he can't get away from Deborah at this point in his career. Like she WCW, is beautiful, WWF. By the way. Yeah, no, she's a smoke show, 100%. Jesus. Um, so there's a, it pans over. These guys are in the bleed seats. Like they're in the nosebleed seats. They are all the way up. Yeah, you had to like go out of your way to find these guys. And they did. Oh, they found them. Uh, there are five guys, uh, four of them with the bras up, one with the bra down. Um, <laughs> and they are holding a sign that says, <laughs> what did you think it said? Cause I think we might've show- seen different things. Okay. So I, when I, you know, my brain read it as, Hey, Deborah, show us yours, baby. And we'll show you ours. Yes. That's yes, okay. Yeah, that is exactly, what I thought yes. it was too. That's not what this fucking sign said. <laughs> the sign says, Hey Deborah, show us tours, baby, and we will you ours. <laughs> they are spared. <laughs> There's a guy on the left with his own sign that he decided to bring separately. I, I didn't see this one. He is with the guys, but holding it separately. I didn't see this. And it says, I want to do the puppies doggy style. <laughs> He said he was to what? He was to doggy her style her titties. <laughs> he was the ass fucker titties. <laughs> this guy is he's the only guy cheesed smiling crazy over Holy here. He fuck, knows that sign is that insane. Sign. Yeah, that there, was oh my insane. god. Holy. There's five guys in bras and then one guy in a regular ass <laughs> fit. And then with his family. This guy might actually be the crazier fit. Blue hat with green shirt and white undershirt. Is an insane to fit. Fuck your titties. I want to do awesome. the puppies doggy style. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. He was way ahead of his time. Yeah, it's like, uh, what was, it was a one famous quote. I want to tit fuck her ass. It's like that, but it reversed. Yeah, it reversed. <laughs> I want to yeah, ass fuck guy, her tits. This guy was, I mean, <laughs> a legend. Legend in the game, and we will you ours. <laughs> and if you show us tours. <laughs> show us tours, baby. <laughs> what the okay. hell? All right, so Jarrett attacks Val Venus before he can do his gimmick. Thank God for Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. This guy's always well, there for heat. us. Last time on Heat, by the way, Val Venus faced D'Lo for the Intercontinental title, and Jarrett jumped him to stop him from winning the belt. Oh, well, that's nice. So, Deborah yeah. uses her titties, Hello. and, uh... Hello. Yeah, we're done with that. Hello. Deborah uses... <laughs> nah, Jeff Jarrett tags him. No, we're not doing that. So, Hello. Deborah uses her titties and distracts Val Venus, uh, but Val Venus moves, and Val Venus hits a blue thunderbomb Dude, to win the match. I couldn't believe that. Yeah. Fucking hell. All the while, by the way, during this boring-ass match... JR is on commentary saying, oh, something happened backstage. There's a commotion. There's something way more interesting happening. Backstage <laughs> Don't right worry now. about this match. I would love to find out more. Something happened in the stairwell. We're going to find out what's going on in the stairwell there. So something happened in the fucking stairwell while Val Venus does a blue thunder bomb and wins. That should have been crazy. his finish. I don't know why he was using the freaking... Because he fucking sucks, Tony. You know what's funny? I think it is his back finisher in WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy. Well, Deborah's upset because... Jeff Jarrett lost, of course, and but yes, how can you really she, be upset at the King of Slap Mountain? Well, upset at her, really. Yeah, Jarrett. Oh, Deborah. Deborah gets in the ring and she's upset, and then Jeff Jarrett's. Sure. I think she's upset 
I think everybody's just upset. I'm upset. I think, I'm upset. I, think De- I had to watch this match. <laughs> I think Deborah's upset that she cost Jarrett the match, and Jarrett's upset at Deborah, and then Jarrett leaves. Right. And we're upset that Val Venus is on TV. 100%. So Jarrett backs Deborah up to the corner and is yelling at her, and then Val Venus comes back into the ring and helps Deborah by hitting Jarrett out of the ring. Yeah. Um, correct. And then Val Venus and Deborah end up leaving the ring together. Ah, I wonder if he'll ass fuck her titties. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is not having an Archie Bunker, I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no chance yeah, in hell. No fucking no way. No chance in hell. Not even, no. not even one. So backstage, Stone Cold has died. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold's asleep. <laughs> He's Stone sleeping on the stairwell, just taking a nap. Yeah, fell asleep on the floor. Dude, WWF got so much out of this staircase. Yeah, it was I know. on every part of the damn show. Just one yeah, show. Right. There's one staircase. It's crazy. Love this staircase. Yeah, they, um, uh, which sh- goes to show how out. versatile they were with getting that backstage stuff. You yeah. know, like yeah. it's right. It shows like, if you have like a you know, you can use anything. Anything can be an environment. Just set up you know, some pipe us, and drapes. You know, just set it up. You got a backstage area. There it is. Yeah, like when the Rock walked through pipe. That was insane. random pipe and drape just sitting. That there. was fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it out. So yeah, Austin's out, laying at the bottom of the stairs. HBK is there. He's like, wait, 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 what happened? He said, what, you trip over a cinder block and get bashed over his head? Dumbass, come on. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, called him a dumbass, too. Yeah. Uh, and then Michael Cole says Stone Cold has died, and there's just no <laughs> coming back from this. It's just impossible. So don't expect we Stone are, Cold later, I'll tell you that. He's being sent to hell right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Ventura is taking him there. Michael Cole keeps saying he's unconscious, and uh, he was a victim. He says this repeatedly. A heinous... A vicious attack. He says it like that. A heinous, a vicious attack. He won't stop saying That's it right. like that. That's what it was. So Austin gets loaded into an ambulance gurney style. Triple H walks in and uh, HBK says, your ass ain't getting out of this. And Triple H says, what happened? <laughs> what Michael do you says, mean? Well, it was a heinous, a vicious attack. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened here. And then HBK goes to the ring because we couldn't fucking get enough of Shawn Michaels promos on this show. No, we got Shawn Michaels Town Hall here. Shawn is out here and says, you know, who do we all responsible for killing Stone Cold Steve Austin? Um, you can actually see that if you look up Stone Cold Dies on YouTube and uh, you can see that. But good question. You asked me personally, I think it was Val Venus. He should be arrested and put in jail with no parole. And maybe his wiener should be cut off by Dick Togo. Well, I got a better idea of who it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, I think he's in hell with Stone Cold or something. <laughs> so, uh, Triple H comes out with his shirt off and jean shorts. My first thoughts here were did he steal this from Stone Cold's body? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, nice. Dude, that's Raw wow. 2 style. Yeah, that's absurd. That's awesome. Um, Sean says that, tri- you know, he taught Triple H everything he knows, so he knows that he could have done this. I'm the teacher and you're the student. And Triple H says, whoa, that's correct, I guess. So fuck Sean you. says, all right, anyways, false count anywhere, triple threat. And uh, Triple H no says. No DQ, no time limit, no count out, and it's also going to be number one contendership uh, at SummerSlam. And if you want that match at SummerSlam, you got to earn it tonight. And uh, Triple H says, well, Stone Cold is dead. And uh, Jean yeah, says, just, well, <laughs> guess what? China's in the match. Yeah, he, it's big pop for China getting put in the match, too, by the way. Because at first, they're chanting for Rock. They mm-hmm. want Rock in the match. <laughs> no way. He's got a crazy match up here at the pay-per-view, of course. Of course, and one tonight as well. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Sean says that China uh, is in the match, and it's going to be Triple H versus Taker versus China tonight. And Triple H says, all right, well, you know, not, all due respect, China's just a girl. Don't put her in the spot, Sean. She can get hurt. No place for a woman here. And China says, fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. Well, China says yeah, something. The mic doesn't work. Try me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it does not work. She says, I'll I'm take the opportunity, Commissioner, Commissioner Michaels. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Commissioner Michaels. Said, try me, Triple H. Oh, shit. I thought there was going to be a bigger pot for China, like sticking up to Triple H, but there wasn't. No, I feel like they still are unsure if they should dislike China or not. There's also, I feel like, a period of time, especially during this, where I, maybe more so when when Eddie comes around, where, like, China is, like, a heel end of face on TV. I think we talked about this before. She's yeah, like, we did. When she's with Triple H, she's a heel, but she's feuding with Jericho, and she's a face. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it shows Triple H and China backstage in a log cabin or something. I don't know. They're Dude, mad, yeah, what the though. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> a, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, where are they? I don't know. Like, they literally, like, transported into a log cabin. I've never even seen this location on this whole show I yet. Think there's, I think there's one later, too. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. Well, Raw is War is brought to you by Castro GTX, oh. Burger King, and Ooh. Napa Auto Parts. Bro, if you get a case of Castro, you get a six-foot WWF poster of a superstar. Holy, that's Still awesome. haven't been able to find one of those. 
a case or a poster? Now, I can get casual GTX, but I can't oh, okay. get this six foot Undertaker. You think poster. nobody redeemed it, or only like, like they just, the posters just didn't survive? Then. Yeah, people didn't give a shit about yeah. posters. They probably just ripped them yeah, off the wall not. and went to college. They didn't give a shit. We're still looking. Yeah. You're right, Tony. Yeah, you're right. We're still looking for the Southwest Airlines The Rock magazine. Still looking. Or what? Uh, it doesn't exist. Uh, I think it was made. Somebody up. will find that. Dan Reichard, please get on the case. Yes, I know you have connections. <laughs> <laughs> Kane and X-Pac versus the Acolytes is up next for the tag WWF titles. Tag Team titles. This is the first time they come out to the mashup of Kane and DX's theme. You know what's insane to me here? Is that what's they that? come out to this theme song where it's right. Kane and then the DX song. Break it down, yeah. They, they made the match. We know we have the Tag Team title match. Mm -hmm. And then they come out of the song and then JR says, Now who the hell is in it? <laughs> <laughs> They're all what? surprised. This is the first time I've heard this music ever. <laughs> Who could this be? What is a commotion backstage? I just don't call it. Revive from the dead. How did he get back here? I think he says this is the first time they've come out together musically. Like, okay. Musically <laughs> come musically? out? Yeah, that's Holy good. Holy fucking shit. Um, yeah, I'm, pre I'm, I've, I'm not, unless they, unless it's a case of, you know, JR just, it happens every week and JR just forgets, but I'm pretty sure this is the first no, time. No, yeah, this is out. the first time they had the mashup theme song of yeah, Kane. No, but it's like you yes. hear Kane's song and then you hear x yeah, song. No, but this is, These are both but this is a brand new themes. song, James. See, that's Holy shit, understand. you're right. What could this mean? When that's what JR basically said. What does this mean? <laughs> 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 Who could this be? <laughs> um, so, Jerry, you know, Jerry Lawler says he had a pretty, they had a good back and forth here in this match. Jerry says X-Pac is like undersized to be in this match because everybody else is like huge. Sure. And then JR says you can't measure his heart in feet and inches, which I thought was a really good line here to put over X-Pac. That is fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I then do like that. X-Pac hits Farouk with the X-Factor and wins. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't a bad match. I mean, they, you know, it's a lot of heat and shit. Uh, dude, the pop when Kane and X-Pac win is crazy. Hell yeah. yeah huge that pop. That was awesome. Like, Dude, they are so fucking over. Like, it was like the biggest win ever. Like, it was insane. Do you know they it was crazy? And Xbox. It, I uh, had like an out of body experience. They they won the tag titles, and then I said, oh, cool. No. They won the tag titles. And then, like, I saw like a frame of the footage, and I said, there is no fucking way. <laughs> this is the Kane episode of Raw. <laughs> I could not. I could not fucking believe it, dude. D yeah, one. This was you ever seen that Death Note meme where, like, where like something happens where they like recognize something and it's like that's like what was going in my head. I saw the frame. I was like, no, this can't be. Eyes go wide. This is when I had to double take and I I had to Google. Did we ever review this? I like I like looked it up and I was like, I swear we've talked because it was a Jarrett Valvinus thing that was like, did we already watch this? And then this came on. I was like. We already watched this. Didn't we watch this episode? Am I watching the wrong episode? And then we haven't I, watched it yet. I swore we had already done this. We've done segment. this bit because we talked yeah, about. Yeah, I we love the, the bit. bit. We talked about the bits. We tremendous. talked about Kane's career or something before. I think just randomly. Did we uh, just just to uh, reiterate? Also, uh, every single cool wrestling thing happened within eight weeks of each other. Dude, yeah, we uh, like, we always say that it's this. It's like the summer of ninety nine. Ninety nine was the summer best of no year. regrets. So <laughs> summer of no regrets. Let's go, boys! That's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this was. That's what it's, it's all crazy. about, man. Just fucking guys be a dudes. Fucking, you know what so I mean? So what? What happens here, James? Dude, it's fucking incredible, man. This is like genuinely one of the greatest wrestling moments ever. <laughs> Um, so they hadn't had this fucking guy talk without the little gimmick that he puts up to his throat. So the gimmick, um, if you don't realize, it's like a smoker, like smokers that have the trach in their throat. It's Ned from yes. South Park. And X-Pac, I still can't believe this is happening. Um, X-Pac grabs the mic. A road dog is also there, by the way. He's just hanging. Yeah, yeah. he came out to celebrate with them when they won the belt. Which is kind of cool. I like that. that his cool. his yeah, boy yeah. comes out to hang out with them, you know, yeah, and they dope. achieve something. Um, by the way, Kane is one of the boys. <laughs> so 100%. everybody realized that they probably went backstage and drank beers or something, you know. Like, that's probably Absolutely. a good time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but X Pac screams out, If you are not down with me and the big red machine being the WWF tag team champions again, I'm just freaking out at this point. I said, There's no fucking way. <laughs> I just genuinely <laughs> can't believe it. And he says, You know what? Kane has two words for you. And I said, No. <sighs> I'm fucking I'm sweating at this point I said oh my god we haven't talked about this bit in like two years I can't believe it yeah Road Dog hands him the voice box yeah he hands him the voice box and X-Pac he goes to talk and X-Pac grabs it away he says you don't need that damn thing anymore come on come on to the crowd big pop let's hear it without this thing come on 
I couldn't fucking believe it, dude. Kane fucking Kane is like, all, so, this is a summer of no regrets. This is what I want dude. with us. You know what I mean? This yes. is what I'm trying. I want to be fucking watching. Tony, you gotta have fucking, the drink thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, we gotta dude. figure out how to get one of those things. Smoke. Yeah, this is us chilling. <laughs> summer of no regrets. Kane's fucking all in, baby. Like these are the yes. boys. Just be. They're fucking. This is it. There is not friendship like this. You don't see this. Like this is unbelievable. The, this is pure boys are will be boys. God this damn! Like you don't. Is, yeah. This is like a pure moment in time. This yeah. is like. Time stands still after he says, you don't need that thing anymore. It's like the crowd is like, oh, you don't. Oh. Yeah, you just had to be there. Like, this is yeah. different. Um, so crazy. he takes it away and Kane doesn't even fucking like Kane doesn't even hesitate. He says, hell yeah, I'm about let's get it. So he says, Let, <laughs> let's do it. Let's say, Come on. And the crowd fucking huge pop for it. And he puts the mic up to it. And Kane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wrote huge pop wrestling rules. <laughs> Let's go! That's that shit right there, man. It, look. Suck it. Yeah, that's you fucking... You just... It's just, it's just the boys. Like, you just... Yeah, it's Girls, awesome. you don't understand this. You know, no, I, I, this. Ladies, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, ladies, you're not, you're not, you're not I had to explain this, this to Christina, like, what was going on here. Yeah, she's not understanding. The boys are fucking no I said, this is group chat. So Kane got Hours. burned, he, he, and then he had to talk with this thing because he was burned, uh, and then Xbox just tells him he doesn't need it, so then he do apparently he doesn't need it now. He doesn't need it. He's right. <laughs> he Xbox was right. <laughs> right the whole time. And Come then, on! And then Kane just talks, He's, and then she said, it's a Christmas miracle. And, I, and then he talks forever after that. He just normal. Yeah, he just talks, talks normal now, and then he turns into. Yeah. He tur at one yeah. point, he, he, he turns he into Hulk Hogan, it. and he just says, "Let me tell you, something, brother." Dude, this is the. Yeah, the this fuck? is the, just, fuck, it's insane man. how it works. Well, just sorry the boys about that, James. Boys, man. Big Show and Undertaker are here. <laughs> they are fucking these guys up. Why now. are they? Yeah, uh, did Undertaker know Kane could talk like this? No. <laughs> you just found Kane's, out right now. Kane K faved his brother. He said, "I'm with the yeah. boys." <laughs> Kane fame. <laughs> I don't think oh Kane knew he could God. talk yet. I think he just figured it out for the first time too. Come on, Xbox knew. He didn't know. He did not fucking know until the boys were there to His hype him up, knew. man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. Shout out Kane. Shout out Xbox. This was hot, man. Man, I'm so sad that like Kane turns into a dipshit idiot over the next 20 years. <laughs> what a fucking but moron. You were built for you were built for the boys, man. You know what I mean? I know. You were you were, you were with us, like, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like when your boy like logs, I'm gonna see you tomorrow on Xbox or something, and then like he doesn't ever again. Yeah, he never logs back yeah. on. That's Kane. That's yeah. Kane, man. You fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit, yeah, James. That's real shit. That is man. real shit. Well, Big Show and Taker are here to handle that. They fuck up Road Dog Kane and Xbox. Big Show's dropping knees on Kane's chest and then they just leave. Fuck you guys, man. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's like when your parents come in and you know they're fucking they're like, get off Xbox. And I'm like, shut up. Yeah, they're man. fucking. <laughs> Don't you see my boy over here talking now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pre tape hours here. Uh we got GTV. Billy Gunn is getting a massage and uh, is wondering about the salad bowl on the table here. Yeah. Um, he wants the salad on his ass. Yeah, he says they're, she says they're oriental herbs. And Billy says, well, put some of that on my ass. And what's up with the gloves? She says, well, my worthless human hands aren't worthy of touching your robust, smooth, beautiful buttocks. And Billy Gunn says, well, you're right. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, uh, and then she starts tickling his ass with the oriental That's the prostate herbs. exam. Oh, no. Yeah. No, it's good. I mean, a guy his age should be getting regular prostate exams. He was like 22 here. What the hell? <laughs> That's all right. You can get a couple of those. I got a guy. You won't stop getting them. I wish you would stop. <laughs> nah, it ain't nothing. Hey. You keep getting no them. Problem. You don't need to get them. No. That ain't it's no problem. Like, that's not like a with the boys thing. Like, you keep trying to get us to go get Why the fuck not? We don't got to just all go all the time. I mean, shit, I ain't just wanted a couple of prostate exams with the boys. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You got to get right, that man. shit checked. You have All to. Right, I, I, Look, listen, men out I there, men out there, do not pass up on a prostate He's exam. Right. If your doctor says I mean, it's time for a prostate exam, get the prostate exam. All right, you should do. It, but like, you don't have to like re repeat. You don't have customer. to take the boys there all the time. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have to do that. Like, but you should get it for like, sure. You're always like, we need to go get tested. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I thought it was like COVID thing, but he just wants to get a prostate exam. His ass. Every, yeah, yeah, every his month. Ass again. I don't know. It's weird. Every month. Because you never Your know. His ass is fine, bro. Well, look at Billy I Gunn. Promise. You thought his ass was fine, and it's not. That's true. 
That's true. Yeah, but he, I don't think they had to go into his asshole to find that out. Well, they did with salad. So, <laughs> <laughs> and salad. I saw it. Those are the special herbs. herbs. The special herbs. Yeah, oriental herbs. Yeah. Right? Ain't that right? In the ass. <laughs> <laughs> the herbs That's what they oriental. do in a prostate exam. They shove a salad up your ass. <laughs> That's uh, why they call it tossing your salad. Yeah, dude. Full circle. We've been there, done that. We, we do this. So we got uh, Joey yeah. Abs and Steve Blackman versus Test and Ken Shamrock. <laughs> fuck you, man. What is this shit? Dude. <laughs> what the fuck is this? My finger is sore from hitting 10 seconds forward. 10, 10, 10 seconds. 10? Plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Plus oh, 10. I hear you. I hear you. Um, well, JR says we haven't had many of those herbal butt rubs in Oklahoma, so I'm not used to it. But all I know is that Joey Abs is the last member of the Mean Street Posse that stands between Shane and Test. So Joey Abs, uh, what is this dude? He is a part of the Mean Street Posse. Dude, his facial hair is Stephanie. insane. His facial hair is insane. <laughs> he's dude. the lost young buck. He is Boyardi. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Boyardi? <laughs> Joey <Yeah>. Artie? <laughs> Joey. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Joey well, Artie. Shane McMahon's here doing commentary. Yes, he is. And the first thing he says when he's on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Shane on commentary is awesome. I actually wish he was a regular on commentary. Um, well, it shows Tess beating everyone's ass in the Mean Street Posse, and then it shows goes. We start the match up here, of course. Uh, Steve Blackman and Ken Shamrock have been feuding, so they're you know it's co kind of like a tag team singles thing. Oh, also, uh, somebody got, Steve Steve Blackman hit Ken Shamrock with a car. Yeah, just yeah, randomly. Yeah, they yeah, mentioned it on commentary, but they never. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't awesome. remember this at all. <laughs> yeah, they say, well, Ken Shamrock got ran over by a car by Steve Blackman, and Shin says, oh, well, it's too bad that this man coming out didn't get hit by a car, and it was Test. <laughs> and yeah, Test jumped Pete Gas with a guardrail and a golf club, and then he beat Rodney up and broke his arm and smashed it to smithereens and, with a chair. Yeah, I mean, you know. Well, well the Test know, has got to get to Shane McMahon. He's got. He's trying to keep Stephanie McMahon. Of course, he's got to keep that million billion dollar princess. Well, that didn't work out too well. No, it does not. Well, <laughs> Tess no, is thrown to the outside. <laughs> Tess is thrown to the outside. Shane goes over and attacks him on the floor. I thought that was cool. <laughs> he just starts kicking him. <laughs> uh, Tess big boots. For, once again, Tess was fed horrible information on how to be a wrestler. But Tess big right. boots. Joey Abs, uh, neck breaker. Shane gets off the table. Uh, headphones almost rip him back towards the table. He forgets he Dude, has headphones that was on. So fucking funny. He was so fired up to like talk shit to Tess that he almost like breaks his neck and snap back to the table. Crazy fucking suplex from Joey here. Looks insane. Oh my god, that, it was like a leaping suit. It's like he jumped with it. Yeah, this move is in fire pro. It's a you're right. Yeah, suplex. the leaping suplex. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I was like, what the fuck, Joey Abs? Okay. So Tess once again fed bad information. Tess hits the test bomb. Uh, oh, on the yeah, outside, yeah. Ken Shamrock hits a steel chair with a kendo stick right in Shane's head. Yeah, like Shamrock and uh, it's Blackman are brawling, and Shamrock just has a kendo stick. Shane has a chair, and he fucking hits that motherfucker so hard. Shane, great sell, just dies on the apron. Um, and once again, Test lets Joey Abs <laughs> get up from the Test bomb and then hits the pump handle slam and wins with the pump handle slam. He had a lot of moves. God damn it, Tess. All you had wow. to do was move a couple pieces around. You had all the pieces. <laughs> no, he <we> didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Triple H, like, thank you. He did. Oh, oh he, did. he did. Oh, he did. You're he did. right. Yeah, yes, you're right. He did. Um, so Tess then pilmanizes Joey Abs afterwards. Uh, he was the last piece <laughs> of the bus. <laughs> Joey Abs probably comes back next week fine, too. <laughs> Tess <laughs> pulmonizes him uh, and then keeps hitting him with the goddamn chair. He pulmonizes his leg twice on yeah, two different ropes. Has to because he, 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 for some reason, he cannot get to Shane or Stephanie unless everyone in the Mean Street Posse dies. Of course, they are in, they are such a roadblock. <laughs> yeah, they're stopping him here. Um, but there, there you go. So Tess is now, he's pretty much exactly where he wants to be, right? With Shane McMahon. So he can get Stephanie. That's, I imagine, I'm, is that the SummerSlam match? It has to be, yeah. Yeah, right. probably. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to let you guys know, I was looking up Joey Abs, just seeing what you know his career was oh, like. Oh, what's he uh, up to? I found out that Joey Abs was the first victim of the Stone Cold Stunner. In 1996, Joey Abs was what? wrestling under his real name. Uh, I have video of it, actually. I found Joe it. Joe Boyardi. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Jason Arndt, <laughs> Jason Arndt or something like that was his name he was wrestling. Arndt? But he was the first one to take a stunner from Stone Cold on an episode of Superstar. So I thought that was... He looked uh, good here, too. That was very interesting. It. The uh, stunner there. I thought that was Holy crazy. Holy shit. Before he, like, he uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I guess he was a wrestler, Tony. 
Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I always thought he was I, Shane's in my mind, boy. They were just three. Yeah, Tony. Uh, I thought it was just two, three. Dudes I was Shane brought in that were like, for one hundred percent as a kid that they were always just Shane's real life friends that grew up in the mean streets of Greenwich with him. I'm still kayfabe with that, Tony. I still believe. Yeah, thought, you shouldn't have shown me this. <laughs> but Austin you actually just broke my heart. I legit, <laughs> I legit just thought Shane had guys that he like trained. That's what I I'll thought honest, too. I, yeah. I thought this the whole time. This is like this is new information, information to me too. Yeah, when I found if this, that's out. not on top. Like it's not also that like he all, they were also boys. They just Shane didn't know these guys at all. Uh, he was like a developmental guy back in the day. What about Rodney or jo or Pete Gas? <sighs> Pete Gas is probably a friend. We had to know Pete's Gas, man. Right? Pete's Gas. Yeah. Pete's Gas. Yeah. Pete's yeah. Gas. Yeah. Yeah. Pete's <laughs> gas. <laughs> You didn't know Pete's gas? Okay, so Rodney and Gas were invited to be a part of it by Shane McMahon. So, they were his boys. So they were his boys, but they had to put, a, they had to put a real wrestler in there, boy. Joey Abs. But Joey Abs was, Joey Abs was the Roman Reigns he, of the Mean Street Posse? <laughs> Joey Abs was probably the least memorable <laughs> member of the Posse, right? Well, he had two names. And no, he, Joey uh, Abs was awesome, man. He had the name. Jo I always Joey, thought I Rodney had, was Joey? like the, uh, I was always thought, man, Pete Gas and Joey Abs are crazy names, and then you got Rodney. Just Rodney. I thought yeah. Pete Gas was the star Rodney of the group, so. Rodney R D should have been his name. <laughs> R and V D Rodney Shame. S. Rodney S. <laughs> uh, Billy Gunn's having a nervous reaction on his ass. Yeah, he kicks Terry out of the makeup area and tells the makeup lady, I'm having a nervous reaction to something. It's been itching my ass all day long, and he just pulls his ass out and she says, Oh, it's poison ivy. And Billy says, Poison Ivy? I've been I haven't been walking around in the woods. You're a pervert. Dude, holy <laughs> shit, the Mean Street Posse weren't Shane's boys. That's <laughs> fucking me up. Like, <laughs> Well, not all of them. Some of them, well, they mostly were. I need the yeah, story they were, now, man. They were, except Joey Abs wasn't. They needed him in there, but... Joey Abs was the Leaki. All right. But Mr. Well, Rock was, is uh, uh, rubbing poison ivy and lettuce on his ass, no. and that's where it came from. The lettuce in the ass is what really got him. <laughs> the Rock is heading our way. <laughs> <laughs> JVC Kaboom Box with the 52 watts of ring shaking power presents the JVC Kaboom of the Week. Wow, what was it? Big Show Choke Slam the Rock. All right. All right. So Not very exciting. Uh, Tess tells Michael Cole that he killed the Mean Street Posse and now he's going to kill <laughs> Shane. But I don't know why Shane would care. It's not like he's really their fucking friends anyway. He's friends with two of them. <laughs> just not Joey Abs. This promo is ridiculous, by the way. Cole says, yeah, you took out each member of the Posse until you got to Shane. It looks like you accomplished your goal tonight. And Tess, like, backhands him or something. <laughs> I don't know what he did to start here. So all I ever asked was for me and Stephanie to be left alone. But Shane and those three little butt sniffers didn't want to listen. <laughs> he said, fat ass beat gas. <laughs> three broken ribs. One strained neck. Rodney, oh, Tess broke my arm with a chair. It hurts. Tough luck, buddy. He said, how about you go into the back and ask that little bitch, Joey, how he's feeling? And he looks at the camera and says, sleep tight, big brother. And he leaves. That was an insane line, man. I've Three seen some butt sniffers. I've seen some crazy joints start with that same line, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> this guy's nuts, man. Uh, yeah, well, we are the three little butt sniffers here at Deadlock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might as well be you killed gay fame for me with these guys. <laughs> so, Tony, so goddamn it. Man. So, Steve Blackman says to Terry Taylor, he says, I. <laughs> We'll step Every into step. the lion's den if Ken steps into my weapon cage. We gotta really, we gotta come up with a name, name. We gotta hurry up Why? here. We gotta yeah. come with a name. Uh, One's gonna want to end one way or another. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Terry Taylor says, and passion comments from Tess D. Blackman. I know there's something you have to say. C. Blackman says, you bet your ass there is. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. He's, and he, he does the whole promo pointing and staring at Terry Taylor like Terry Taylor is a camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to Ken Shamrock through the eyes of the Red Rooster. So now it's time for the Rock Town Hall. If you're some male, well, The Rock is Number out here. Number two, by big, the way. Big Show. <laughs> Dude, The Rock comes out here to roast Big Show again. For no reason. Taker's backstage. Well, just Big hold on a second. Up. Hold on a second. Just wait a second. We'll see where this goes. Yes. Hold on, man, big man. Let's <laughs> let him cook again. He's cooking on that boy RD. Yeah, and that's Rock. on boy RD. <laughs> <laughs> The Rock talks shit, gets his ass whooped, comes out to talk more shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Big Show. <laughs> Big Show, seeing as that jabroni you call a partner, The Undertaker is booked tonight for a match. That pretty much leaves you free. So The Rock says, if you got any fortitude in those little bitty things you call balls. <laughs> JR's very personal here. <laughs> 
then tonight in front of all the Rocks fans, you will go one on one with the great one and go on and check your big fat ass directly into <laughs> the SmackDown Hotel. And then Tony, what happened? Well, 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 Sweet. Dude, that, check your ass into this directly. Directly. That's like burnt ingrained into my mind, like burned into it because yeah. I've heard that. I'm, 10 billion times. Probably because anytime they show the clip, it of always starts Joker's there. Debut, yeah. It always starts with that. <laughs> directly. Yeah, directly into the SmackDown Hotel. <laughs> 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 uh, so the lights are out. The countdown clock is counting down. Lights out. Big fucking explosion. What's my name, bitch, bitch, bitch? Oh bitch. my <laughs> God. <laughs> Break the walls Dude. Down. What's my name, bitch? Girl Matron, Silver Jacket Jericho. This, this is, is the GOAT! Dude, this is the, the title. GOAT! Give him the title right away. Like, oh my god, fuck? dude. Oh, I wow. Hate, I, I hate got like that goosebumps, they got rid of man. Dude, yes, I can't. I hate that they got rid of what's my name, bitch. The 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 uh, Jericho on the Tron flip out, and he's standing there, silver and he's doing jacket. The pose. Oh my god, the goat. Dude, oh, this is man. Yeah, this is like top five greatest debuts ever. The crowd right? was fucking ready for this it. Too. Like, wanted this it. might be yeah. like number one best debut of all time. It's this is this has got to be damn near one of them, dude. This is yeah, like goosebumps. I've seen this a hundred right. fucking thousand times. Still get goosebumps. Dude, the pop when the Jericho text flips is like crazy. The Rock is in the ring and they're losing their mind for this WCW guy that wrestled Hooven <laughs> Dude, if you, didn't, if you didn't live in this era, uh, seeing him on WCW struggle to get to the main event scene and then him showing up and go one-on-one -on -one at The Rock is like the craziest thing ever. Which is weird because like his he does this and then he like he like wrestles Road Dog. Yeah, he has, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He has like a like hardcore feud or something with the Road Dog. I think. Yeah, right? like yeah. yeah, like it's they immediately like ah, all right, <laughs> yeah, whatever, brother. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> 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 hey, well, there you are again. Good to see you again, Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a Hogan moment. Why didn't Why didn't we bring this guy back, brother? Or not. <laughs> yeah, comes, Hogan, Hogan's fighting to get Jericho, Jericho comes back, back or not. Maybe he'll wrestle the road dog in a hardcore match. <laughs> Why didn't we put Jericho in the NWO? Dude? Yeah, he was like, yeah, he probably sit on a fucking Bubba the Love Sponge show. He'd say, yeah, you know, brother, we were going to put him in the NWO, dude. And he's wrestling road dog. This guy never saw anything of that little guy, brother. <laughs> no way, dude. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Triple H, they're both on Bubba Love Sponge talking about Yeah, Triple H calls it in Bubba Love he says, well, dude, I don't really think there's anything good about this guy, dude. You know, we got a call in here from uh, Hunter. Paul. What the hell is going on here? Paul from <laughs> Connecticut. Paul. You're really <laughs> spitting. Uh. I like what you're saying there. Uh, I never thought anything I didn't have it. Oh, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> you sound like you would be very good in the NWO, brother. <laughs> uh, or maybe not. Maybe not, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I got a spot for Jericho. <laughs> oh my god! The Navy anyway. Seals. Uh, <laughs> in hell, he can, he can do Pearl Harbor with me. He can climb. He can climb the rope, brother. <laughs> the rope ladder, brother. Dude, this is the craziest bubble love sponge show ever. <laughs> <laughs> With me and Master Chief. <laughs> Dude, he trained him. Master Chief is crazy as hell. Oh, man. Oh, Bubba the Love Sponge, you know what I'm all about. <laughs> oh, I know what he's about too, dude. <laughs> me too. Uh... <laughs> he's still on the line. Never hangs up. <laughs> <laughs> Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> I have a question for the Hulkster. Maybe I've called before. <laughs> do you also think uh, Jericho sucks? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, brother. <laughs> or maybe, maybe I, I don't. don't, dude. He was going to be in the NWO, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. Don't talk about the New World Order. If you're going to talk about the New World Order, let's talk about Bush. <laughs> Bush isn't even in office. Yeah. Let's talk about George W. Bush. I know what he's capable of. I know what's next for this country. I served with his father in Pearl Harbor. And there's a lot to be talked about. Him, dictator Steve Smith's 
<laughs> and George should play. And Joey Abs. <laughs> <laughs> who we found out is not a real Shane friend. Thank you, Tony. Every Dude, time. fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry about All that. right. So, anyways, like we were saying, Raw is Jericho. I mean, Triple, Triple H still says, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're damn right. He's still on the phone. Yeah, Raw. Dude, Raw is Jericho. Big fucking pop here. Uh, this promo is awesome. And you know, The Rock is stupid. During, because he's this jabroni getting these many words on the rock, <laughs> dude. I was I was talking to Tony before we went live. Uh, you know, the rock could have interrupted Jericho at any point. Yeah, um, he could have. You know, it's his show. You do whatever he wants. But could have killed him. He could have killed him immediately. But he decided to ultra fucking kill him into a road dog feud. <laughs> they he. I have the never. Best, you're right. You're I have right. like there is nothing the rock could have interrupted and said that was any better than what he said here. Literally. You're right. Yeah, because anything else, they probably would have had to just tie him with The Rock. Because I imagine they wrestle eventually, but it's like, I don't even know when it is. It's not at fucking SummerSlam because he's wrestling Billy ass gun. You're right. Uh, also, The the Rock had like five feuds going on. He had um, Undertaker and Big Show. Yeah, The Rock's feud He's also got <laughs> Billy Gunn and all this stuff. So 10, was that 10, 4, 99? They have a match on Raw. Oh, and The Rock beats him. Okay. Well, um... You know, Raw is Jericho, so let's, uh, you know, let's yeah. talk about I how mean, good this, this was. Dude, this promo is fucking tremendous. He says he's the new millennium for the WWF. Uh, he's the most charismatic showman to ever le- enter your living rooms via your television screen. <laughs> the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla. There's Rocky Chance, and he says, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was awesome. <laughs> he says, a new era in this what this once proud and profitable company needs. What was once a captivating, trend-setting program has deteriorated into a cliched, boring snooze fest that is in dire need of a knight in shining armor, and that is why I'm here. He is bitten. <laughs> you can apply this to every year past 2001. Every <laughs> single one of them. Chris Jericho has come to save the WWF, and he does the pose, and Jared says, Oh, from what? <laughs> <laughs> That's immediately Jared knew he was going to bury him in the booking meetings. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Jericho says, Television ratings downward spiral. Pay per view buy rates plummeting. Mainstream acceptance non existent. And the reaction to the live crowd complete and utter silence. And I know why you're silent. You're silent because you're embarrassed to be here. <laughs> Quite honestly, correct. I'm embarrassed for you. Yes, correct. You're embarrassed because of the steady steam of uninteresting, untalented, mediocre sports entertainers who you're forced to cheer for and care for. No wonder why you're not cheering. You could care less about every idiot in the dressing room, and especially this one in the center of the ring. <laughs> Dude, this is he awesome. said, what's funny is they're red hot for this whole segment. They react to everything. He says, ratings are down. Pirates are down. Crowd reactions are silent, and then the crowd just <laughs> doesn't say a word. Yeah, they just shut yeah, up. They, they accept that <laughs> they go, he's yeah, right. You're yeah, right. Um, you've and, been led to believe that mediocrity is excellence. Ah, uh, Jericho is excellence. He's like, there's a million fucking catchphrases. Yeah, he's got here. them all here. This one he does the go Jericho go. He does that here too. <laughs> fucking all. never ever be the same again. Uh, the Y two J problem is here. This is he awesome, says every man. line. I think Ayatollah of Rock and Roll has stuck with him for his entire career. Like, yeah, and he said it here. He's really good. Yeah, he said it for the really first good. time here ever, which is crazy. Yeah, The Rock, by the way, sitting in the ring, and his mouth is getting wider and wider. And he lets him do the whole thing, and his eyebrows are going up. And The Rock, <laughs> dude, this is crazy. So Jericho, I, I'd, talks. Like to, I'd like to think before The Rock talks here that this was a segment Jericho's music was going to hit. The Rock was just going to left standing. You know, Jericho's there now, and that's the, yeah, that's the segment. The something. Rock wasn't supposed to say anything after this. Is now, what I'd like to see. Minute. Yeah, I've never seen like this was there. This was you know like there's a spectrum of like how well can something go and the rock was literally at the largest this was the number this is the apex of that spectrum he was make or break this was unbelievable the rock lets him do his whole thing it pans over the rock he's standing in the ring with a microphone the rock <laughs> does the arm thing and <laughs> oh, then no. slowly no. pushes the mic to his mouth the real slow I was like no, oh my, <laughs> my no, god no. i knew what was coming next <laughs> The Rock says, after three boring minutes, <laughs> The Rock says, know your role and shut your mouth. 
big pop. Huge, three boring huge minutes pop. Brutal. Rocky, yeah. Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. After three boring minutes, The Rock says, know your role and shut your mouth. I said, oh my God. Dude, that, the man didn't even, holy shit. Dude, that was like instantly just like that because Jericho comes in, he's super face over. Everybody loved yeah. him. The Rock starts talking, switches just like that. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck this guy. You cannot beat this guy. It doesn't matter <laughs> what you fucking do. You come on The Rock Show and you don't even tell me your name. <laughs> what is your name? It doesn't matter you, oh. what your name is. Rocky, Rocky. After three boring minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. You're done. Take your ass <laughs> back to the mid card of that shit show down south. Because it doesn't How matter what you, your little, name is. Little jabroni, come on the rock show. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, oh dude. Oh, fuck. This is crazy. This isn't even smacked down. This is raw. This isn't even yeah. smacked. This is that the rock is running everything right now. <laughs> the Rock Show doesn't exist yet. He's facing Billy Gunn at SummerSlam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Rock says, The Rock says, you talk about your Y2J plan. Well, The Rock has a little plan of his own, and that's the KY Jelly plan. The no! Pops no! No! <laughs> Dude, Y2J, I said, fuck it, I'm going to change the buy rate, the razor down, the crowd reaction, I'm changing it all. Well, all I right. got the KY Jelly plan. <laughs> no! Oh, no! 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 <laughs> Lawler on commentary says, you know what that is, JR? And Jared says, yeah. And Lawler says, you do? <laughs> you talk about the Y2J plan. No! The Damn it! The KY Jelly plan. Holy and shit, he, man. He, he stops and the crowd goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jared goes on the stage making a little face. <laughs> and the Rock says, which means The Rock is going to lube up his size 13 boot real good. Turn that some bitch sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass if you smell. Oh. What The Rock is He cooking. doesn't even get Give Jericho one second no to respond. Way. He dun, says, turn that boot dun, sideways dun, dun, if you smell. <laughs> dude, that's that it. is so, dude, that is the fucking segment ender. The Rock yeah. literally dictates the pace of every conversation on his show. The Rock can be like, someone can be like, Rock, you suck. No, you suck. If you smell. <laughs> and we're going to commercial break. <laughs> dude, you're right. You're right. Dude, he, he fucking, oh my all God. The, like Chris Jericho could have been dead on arrival right Right here after this shit. I mean, he did it to Booker T as well. Same shit. What? Who's your he name? Did it to everyone. Dude, no, I, I, but, everyone. But like Jericho survived. Booker survived. I, I understand why Sting didn't want to come in because Sting was. They put Sting. <laughs> oh in, my they god. They put Sting in the rock you together. Face painted jabroni. <laughs> you, Let me tell you what you can do with that paint. You come out here and your face paint come down from the rafter. <laughs> <laughs> you got your baseball bat, you jabroni. Yeah. <laughs> let me do something uh, with that bat. Oh, I have a, no, I have a no. baseball bat, but no. it's not in my hands. <laughs> you know, you, call you come your... <laughs> out here with a crow. Let me tell you what I'll do with that crow. I'll stick it straight up. Your candy ass is in your stomach. <laughs> cut the segment. <laughs> You, you call yourself Sting. Well, you know what else is going to sting when I lube up Your that ass. black ba baseball <laughs> bat. Turn that side of it sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. If you smell! If you smell! Sting makes his whole fucking entrance from the from the roof down to he the ring, get in front of the rock. The rock slowly puts a mic to his mouth. After three boring minutes. <laughs> How much did they spend on that one, Jabroni? <laughs> You were down. You come out here. Your name is Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about the four horsemen. <laughs> you, you were down south wrestling a jabroni named Dallas. <laughs> You're face to face with the real people's champion here, dude. Unreal, the and I'm rock. Gonna fuck your mother's pussy. <laughs> if you're if you're so mad. Cut this segment. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That's a bit of win every argument. You smell. What the yeah, I mean, you can't. You can't lose. You just can't. You can't. That's the. That's literally the end of the fucking segment. That's like that's like I we're almost, done. We got to cut. I almost feel like it's like a Vince McMahon test because if a guy says he's a good talker, he's a star, whatever, he comes in, put him against the Rock. If he can survive that, then he can survive anything in the WWF. Really, 
Yeah. Well, we're going to put you with the road dog. <laughs> After three boring minutes. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't even believe what I was hearing. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. That was awesome. I, I, what a great, great segment. That's what like a the, fucking went, like, fantastic segment. I wish. I mean, I get it. They wanted to give, you know, Jericho some reps. to, But, like, God, dude, just, just do the match. Just do the match. Yeah. No way, man. WWE was super good at blue balling and then yeah i guess bringing it back not, around six months later when no one cares uh, two years later if you're yeah. some uh, <laughs> that's what i said in this feud <laughs> uh so next up we have hardcore holly randomly yelling into a room that he is looking for the big show <laughs> dude dude he won't stop <laughs> he does it he says and if you see the big show tell him the big shot's looking for him they go to a SummerSlam commercial it comes back he's just opening random locker rooms and saying hey and you see the big show? <laughs> Tell him the big shot's looking for him. Every room. What's, Every one of what's with this Bob Holly big this show? This is a thing? sitcom bit, by the way. What's going on? He's the big shot. Yeah, but this is a sitcom. They don't bit. even have a match. Like, they, they, got, they don't even match at SummerSlam or anything. I don't know. No, but he like he was. It's with, to get them there. It's to get them yeah, there. I think, I think eventually there's something with Big Show and Bob Holly. And yeah. then uh, Crash Holly comes in here soon too, I think. Oh, okay. Um also China is lacing up in the back. Yeah, in a in a, in a very small room. Yeah, I, I don't know what the... I, they showed a lot of B-roll. You know what's funny, Tony? Now that I think about it, Bob... I remember a magazine cover of Bob Holly. Like, Bob Holly's gimmick here is he thinks he's as big and tall as Undertaker and Big Show and Kane, which is just kind of what Crash yeah, Holly does. Yeah, that's Crash's whole gimmick, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah so he yeah, just put it on yeah. Crash and said, okay. Yeah, yeah, I pretty much. It, yeah. yeah, Bob, I, I don't want to do his shit. I want a rich car. The only reason I, <laughs> the right. only, the only reason I asked that is because Big Show's involved with, like, Kane and... X Pac, and then he's involved with, with The Rock, yeah, and then right. it's yeah. crazy. Bob Holly's involved. It's kind of cool it. how, uh, how it, it plays it, out. It, it yeah. melds. Yeah, I agree. Feels, it feels pretty active. Yeah, you're right. Um, alive, yeah. But yeah, so we have Big Boss Man versus Road Dog up next. Hardcore match. Uh, and wow, whole, they uh, Concussion City here. You're <laughs> right. I'm, I'm going to tell you also, this is the point of the show where I feel like they've done everything the show. They should have just went to the main event. The, like, I, yeah, I think like the Jericho Rock thing had to have been like hour to start right because like everything after this feels like an afterthought yeah, yeah. like the, the the show has lost its pacing now we're just doing a bunch of fucking matches and we're just i'm yeah. like all right now it's like the fucking main event already yeah let's go here brother yeah i agree because they don't even do nothing these fucking matches big boss well, man yeah. versus road dog this is non-title because al snow has a title match at the pay-per-view apparently so they can't do a title match i guess <laughs> because yeah because road dog can't I get whatever he'd rather face whatever okay dude road dog is bashing boss man over the head with what is this a cooking pan or is yeah. it a cookie sheet yeah cookie yeah. sheet it's making like it's not even making like a loud noise it's just making like a yeah like, yeah, it's yeah like, I know what it's you're saying. absorbing from his head uh and then he brains him again with a fucking cooking pan and then eventually Bossman gets it back by just annihilating Road Dog in the head with a chair shot. <laughs> just fucking kills him with it. Uh, they set up a table in the ring. Uh, Bossman power bombs Road Dog through the table. Then Al Snow comes in and breaks a dog carrier over Bossman's head while acting like Pepper the dog is in it. There's no and Bossman way falls. This fucking dog dude, is in there. dude. <laughs> they are saying the fucking dog is yeah, in the container. <laughs> Al Snow beats over the head with it and then holds it upside down, walking up the ramp. He's talking to it. He's talking like inside of it, oh, checking on Pepper man. inside of it as after he just bashed Bossman. What Boss the fuck like, is Boss going Man, on? Bossman falls over and Road Dog pins him. All right. I don't yeah. know how that worked. Road Dog bridge pinned him. His shoulders down too. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. He has a, he has a title match. Al Snow with Barry. We do so not care. Cares. Yeah. This was a Bossman has to lose match in non-title. Uh, Big Show on the Rock are walking to the ring. Yeah, Big Show's coming down the stairs. The Stone Cold Austin was knocked out. Yeah. At. Why did they not? They didn't like. I you know, please take that off. Maybe look into who killed Stone Cold. All right, nah. Stone Cold that <laughs> commercial. Get your badassery here on this website. Son of a bitch, fuck you. <laughs> Go to my site. Oh hell yeah. The Go to my site or fuck off. Go into the com <laughs> like commercial for the website is insane. Like you go up there and you read Stone Cold Steve Austin is named Steve Austin and he is Stone Cold. And like I, <laughs> no, I go, he's, damn, he's, that was a fun time of the internet. No, you you have flash games and soundboards and stuff. I'm sure on the oh, website. Oh yeah, the shooting gallery. The, the Stone yeah, Cold shooting, shooting gallery. I forgot about buy that. Buy your mug. 
So if, well, if you go there, if it says Stone Cold first hit the stunner on Joey Abs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this can't be right. And then it says Joey Abs is not it's really Shane like, McMahon's it, friend. <laughs> yeah, Joey Abs like John Arbuckle or something. What's his fucking name? Fuck this guy, man. John Arbuckle. Archie Arch. Bunker. <laughs> Archie Bunker. No, <laughs> no way. All right, so be. The Rock versus Big Show. Uh, sorry, right, man. Well, we Whatever. lost the pacing over. What yeah, after the bro. Rock Jericho um, stuff? I could care less what The Rock does, dude. The Rock, dude. fucking two town halls, four matches, six. Nothing <laughs> happens in this match except the Bob Holly coming out. Yeah, Holly and Show are arguing. <laughs> show gloms Holly. Nobody reacts. Rock. Dude, Jr. says, "What is wrong with Harker Holly? He needs psychiatric help." <laughs> everybody, everybody in the crowd is like, "Why is the main event not happening?" Yeah, fuck this. Rock low blows Big Show. This is a ridiculous series of events here. So keep going, Jr. Rock low blows Big Show off camera, then hits the DDT, and then he starts to get into the people's elbow. The good way, by the way, he's looking towards the crowd. Yeah, awesome, um, huge pop. Then Jericho in fucking pants <laughs> interferes, <laughs> and then Glo yeah. Hits Rock DQ. Then Billy Gunn with his chapped ass <laughs> jumps the Rock. <laughs> because he has what? a match with the Rock at SummerSlam. And he hits him with his patent move. The Jack Hammer. <laughs> and I love that JR was trying to come up with a name for it and just said, fuck, it's I the Jack know. Hammer. It's the I fucking know. Jack Hammer. I don't I know. know. He really wanted to call it something else. I don't else. know what to yeah. tell you. <laughs> yeah. The Rock goes after Jericho. Billy Gunn jumps out of nowhere. Itchy ass style, <laughs> scratching his butt. <laughs> Jackhammer lays out Rock, and then he, the Rock is laid out. Billy Gunn leaves. I'm an ash man. I was like, what the fuck am I looking at here? The Rock just got got laid out by the ass man. After okay. three boring minutes. <laughs> After three Billy. boring matches, <laughs> we are finally at the main event. Well, China's walking through the backstage to get to the ring. Uh, Jesse Ventura then makes his entrance. Full He's entrance. Special, sp yes, full entrance special guest commentator here for the main event. Triple threat match between China, Triple H, and The Undertaker. False count anywhere. No DQ, no count out. And HBK in little pants and uh, a white shirt advertising his wrestling school shirt. China gets in Taker's face, and then Taker makes the craziest face of all time and Dude, shoves he, her out of the way. He makes a crazy face during his entrance. He crazy Asad Timberlake. Like, ah, <laughs> like it was Timberlake. insane. Yeah, fucking gnarly. But yes, then he, he had a little crazy, like he was going to try to melt her with his eyes. Hey, get the fuck <laughs> off me. That's pretty much what it was. Get the yeah. fuck off me. He pushes her, and then uh, Triple H, they start fighting. Uh, China gets on the top rope. Taker punches her, and then <laughs> she falls to the outside. Awesome. I was like, well, this is cool. Good Lord. Taker and Triple H punch each other a ton here. Just a ton of punching. Well, that's working. Bro. Yeah, they were punching <laughs> each other. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> you, I can do the Irish whip. Uh, I can do Irish whip in the knee. Uh, <laughs> no, not the knee. Sleeper hold. Uh, Put your Irish whip in the corner. Uh, I have Flair didn't wrestle on Nitro. I don't know what he'd do. Tonight. Irish whip reverse uh, back body drop. Uh, <laughs> I'll take the buckle. <laughs> I'll take the buckle like Flair. Uh, <laughs> King Kong knee out of the corner. Uh, and I win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and if uh, I lose, I go and bump with the love sponge. Uh, <laughs> 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 or maybe you don't, brother. Not this week, dude. We're not uh, having you on, brother. I'll tell you that. Lawler says, you're not going to be dressed up like HBK at the pay-per-view, are you, Jesse? And Jesse says, no, I'll be wearing official WWF <laughs> ref gear. I take this job serious. Yeah, he goes, I'll be wearing <laughs> WWF <laughs> referee <laughs> official gear or attire, whatever yeah. you call it. I take this job serious, much like Dick does. <laughs> Dick Marzino. Who? Dick Marzino, the demo dick god. <laughs> demo dick god. Taker uh, <laughs> goozles Triple H to the air and then China low blows Undertaker. Yeah, fuck you. They stomp him out. Uh, then Triple H and trying to shake hands and then she fucking forums the shit out of him and then low blows him and Triple H says, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Triple H says, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also Triple H. Triple says, H says, that's awesome. I like that <laughs> JR, shit. JR says, oh yeah. Uh, Taker choke slams China. Very nice style. Very nice. Yeah. Um, Triple H then, of course, hits the knee on Undertaker. <laughs> well, and uh, oh, they usually do that in Irish whip. Uh. Jesse and Lawler are yucking it up at commentary. They do not give a fuck about this match. They're just doing Dude, bits. legit at one point, Jesse and Turner goes, oh, yeah, this is for the number one contingency I forgot. He legit <laughs> says that. I forgot. <laughs> uh, so Triple H high knees Undertaker and checks on China and then pins China. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't don't forget Stone Cold's here. He's back. Well, of course. Taker breaks it up, and then 
I'll be goddamned on the Tron. Stone Cold Steve Austin is, oh. they for some reason, haven't left the arena with the, the ambulance. Yeah, was that implying that they hadn't left or they came back and Stone Cold was also there's driven no, back in the ambulance? There's no way. They, <laughs> they, that's what I took they it just, as. <laughs> I took it as they didn't even leave. Like, they didn't even leave. They just left it there. <laughs> Stone Cold drove the ambulance back. Well, that's what happened. I don't know what's more... I don't know what's more ridiculous. <laughs> they never left or they drove him back in it. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, you know what's crazy is like they had like a gen genuinely, they wrote the show every week and it was like a grand slam every time. Steve Austin returns from X to do Y <laughs> and it's super hot it's every awesome. time. Yeah, super hot yeah. every time. So Steve Austin's here from his staircase fall that we never learned anything more Cinder about. Block Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, he's got the steel chair. <laughs> <laughs> he just pushes a random guy and takes his chair and walks in the ring. Yeah, doesn't really matter. It's hot. We're here. Uh, Triple H. They, oh, sorry. Sorry, James. On commentary, they're saying, Jared, oh, Austin is here. He's here. What, what's he doing? Jesse Ventura on commentary says, where is I don't see Austin. <laughs> 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 Where is he? I said, fucking hell, man. It's because he's looking at the monitor, I think, right? Or I don't know, man. I don't, where do you Where's see him? Where's Austin? <laughs> what? <laughs> where do you see Stone Cold? I don't see him. <laughs> he must have left like you leave if you don't want to get drafted in the war. Does anyone want to be drafted tonight? <laughs> So Steve Austin is here and he's where <laughs> he's right. Oh my God. He's out here. He swings on where? Sean with the chair. That's, that's like, he does. Yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. like you're trying to talk to your grandparents. It's right over there. Where, <laughs> where <laughs> I served in the goddamn war. <laughs> that is your grandpa right there. What war? <laughs> the, the war. All of them. <laughs> the God, you know, goddamn well, which war. <laughs> so Sean ducks the chair. Austin sent out and he hits triple H right in the head with it. Steve Austin puts China on Triple H, of course, because this is the Falls Count Anywhere, no DQ, Steve Austin can't interfere type match. <laughs> and Steve Austin puts China on Triple H, and China wins. China wins. Where's Austin? Austin? I still don't. <laughs> where, where is Stone Cold? Is, where is Steve? Who is that bald guy that looks like Jesse the Body Ventura? I'm not calling him Steve Austin. He's Austin. <laughs> Just like good old days, huh, Austin? That's Steve Williams to me. <laughs> After yeah. three boring <laughs> minutes, the show is you're, coming to an end. You're right, James. The second half of the show definitely was. Sucked. Like, it was terrible. Whatever. Look, man. Yeah. You had a super hot show, a bunch of cool shit happening. All you had to do was make the matches longer. All you had to do was yeah. make the matches longer and like not have yeah. so many or of them. better matches. <laughs> yeah. like, like, like genuinely, like a lot of these like were just bullshit. Nothing. 20 town halls. Yeah. Uh, super hot show until it wasn't. Yeah. But China's the number one contender. Uh, and uh, I imagine that's. Not the case. No, company. it is not. But uh, I guess they change it to Mankind gets the spot, and it's Mankind, Triple H, and Stone Cold, Triple Threat match. I don't know why Mankind got in there. I don't really remember how that played out. I wonder how, how like, I'm sure that had to have come up at some point. Like, sh maybe China wins his belt at some point, Yeah, it's, right? it's like a weird, because for them to just, like, change it to Mankind and Triple H instead of China. And so it seems like a weird, like, yeah, that is a very, actually, that's a very WWF thing to do. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I don't know if they were going to say, like, oh, we're going to give China the belt and it's going to be a big thing, but they don't really talk about that. That would have been cool. I mean, yeah, that would have been, fucking, you know. That would have been awesome. She was over and she could have beat Triple H for the belt, got a big pop, and then just lost it, you know? I think somebody's going to call into the Bubble of Love Sponge show. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that idea. Yeah, that doesn't really work for me. Uh. <laughs> I had a couple of other ideas. What do you so. think, Hogan? Hogan, should we put the belt on China? Picture. What do you think? I don't know about that dude or maybe I do. <laughs> dude, I was going to say, this picture Tony Fest is fucked up. It's a picture of China versus Stone Cold with fucking... Can you tweet this, Tony? Yeah, you can tweet, China yeah, versus, tweet this. China versus Stone yeah. Cold with Jesse. Look at that USA Buck. logo and Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee! <laughs> That's awesome. I'm fucked up. Look, it's the thing. Me man. too. I was in the U.S. Navy <laughs> SEALs. We had to do a lot of rope laddering. <laughs> Hardcore Holly is a fake. <laughs> He wouldn't cut Sergeant it. Sergeant Slaughter is a scam artist. <laughs> Give me your fucking badges, you piece and of I shit. And I hope he eats my ass if you smell. Michael Hayes, you <laughs> fucking bitch. You were not in the Navy SEALs. Well, that's it for, for WWF. Dressed like a grown man. From August 9th, 1999.